It begins. How's it going, Raven? How's it going, Raven? It's going good, because we're playing Bahama Lagoon, oh yeah. And I'm quite excited, because it seems like the shop is now stocked with all the items we need to max out all the stats. And that's what we're gonna do. Sir, I am at work and can't hear a thing. Why are you here? <laughs> I am at work. I was just so excited to play the game. I'm so sorry to do this to you two times in a row, Chaos. I'll make sure, I'll make sure to get you on a stream. We'll get you on the next stream. I'll do like a, a 5 to 9 instead of a 4 to 8. I'm so sorry, Chaos. How's it going, Raven? Alright, let's see something. Why does it have to do the chat from top to bottom? If it did bottom to top, that'd be better. I could see it actually. Actually, let me move this. I'm trying to change my layout on my monitor so I can see all the chats at the same time. I'll move the game over here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now I can see Twitch chat. I can see YouTube chat. I can see chat chat. I, I, I just need to buy a second monitor, really. That's what needs to happen. I need to buy a second monitor. Because it's getting, it's getting crazy trying to fuck around with one. <laughs> Will you be on in eight hours when I get home? Most likely not, I have to be honest. Most likely not. I do have a D&D &D game that I play normally. Well, thank you for stopping by, Chaos. Greatly appreciate it. Alright, okay. is my controller working? Yeah, there we go. Alright, first things first, gonna do some side quests. We need, we need some money. We need cash. Cold, hard, cash. Alright, uh, formation. Okay, I'm gonna put a light armor on the front. Just see if that increases the speed. I'm gonna play around with the location of like, maybe it is the leader determines how fast the party moves. Cause if that's the case, I might put the light armor instead on like one of the, the, the mage parties, to be honest. Do I want Thunderhawk to be on this group? Let's see, Thunderhawk became a, not a dark dragon, but a black dragon. And I have no idea what that entails. I think this is good, this is good. Keep it on the Lancers. You know what? We'll keep it on the Lancers. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is good. 
Ah, oh, shit. I didn't want to do a regular sortie. I wanted to do a side quest. Oh, well. Campbell is mine. I'd never let it pass to the likes of you. Conditions for victory. Take downs on that. Let's get a quick look here. A turret. How's it going, Ray? So we got a grand launcher, but there's also a turret here. Is this thing gonna need to, This better not attack us. This better not be free damage. I'm gonna be pissed. How's it going, Ray? We got turret, turret, turret. Bunch of assholes. I'm going to assume these turrets on the field don't do anything, and we only have to worry about this guy. How's it going, Raven? Okay, so the light armor does determine the movement speed. So if we have the light armor as the leader, she'll be able to, like, move in and position the heavy dudes to just haul ass. We gotta plan this out. Uh, dragon come. Uni Uni Dust, level twenty. <laughs> Valitra Junior. What? Ha why is it Valitra Junior? What what happened? Why why is it changed? I'm worried. I'm worried about what this dark dragon is doing to us. Uh, failed. Don't know if I like that. Don't know how I feel about that. Breath level ten. Okay, just blow up the entire field. 1,000 damage! Jesus Christ! The uni-uni breath is not to be fucked with. 746 experience. Holy cow. Alright, maybe that's not so bad. Maybe it's like, uh, it, it's a gamble, so it's like high damage, but high chance of failure. I needed to take a break from the psychological BS I was watching on Netflix. What's up? Well, we're playing a game, Sad Aries. As you can clearly see from the screen, we're playing a game. But yeah, it's just, uh, playing the game last night, I was like, I need to continue playing this. I, I, I want to see more. I want to continue, I want to continue playing. Like, I couldn't wait. I woke up, had breakfast, watched a bit, Watch a bit of things on Twitch, and then I decided, you know what? It is time. It is time to continue, Bahamut Lagoon. Hey, this is a normal hour for you, right? It's not that late yet. What time is it over there? So if it's like 12 p.m. here, then for you guys, it has to be like 10 a.m.? Yeah, so it's even the morning time for you guys. Dragon, come. Same, still the same range. Oh, the turrets do do shit. Okay, don't stand in front of the turrets. That's bad. Okay, turrets are assholes, got it. Now we're not gonna set you to go, we're gonna set you to dragon. Come with me. I need to get lightning up there so we can destroy the turret. That's what we gotta do.
Not close enough for sleep magic. Uh oh. Ah, it's fine. Yeah, ice breath at range. Yeah, we're good. We're gold. And then Salamander, yeah, he's free to go. Salamander will, he'll fuck a lot of people up. I'm curious if this will destroy the turret. Okay, it did not destroy the turret. It killed those guys, but it did not destroy the turret. Uh, Salamander, it's fucked up that you'd do that. Attack them up close and personal. I need me some of that sleep magic to put me into an induced coma. Uh, don't they sell that in a bottle? <laughs> don't they always a Benadryl? Yeah, there you, there's your sleep magic, Sad Aries. You've had it all along. The real sleep magic is the friends we made along the way. Really, if you want to sleep, you just need to be more active. I feel that helps me. Whenever I'm active, I'm able to sleep a lot better. When I'm not active, I don't sleep at all. Stopping in front of the cannons is a dangerous thing to do. Thunder skill should make quick work of them. Would have been nice if you guys told me that earlier instead of waiting until I get hit. That was fucked up. Get that drug tower. Ooh, what's he gonna do? Bite level three. That's good. Diamond armor. That's what I wanted. Diamond armor is good. Six hundred and forty-two. No, one thirty-two. All right, that puts us back to max health. That's good. Yeah, why would twin headed wood stop there? Just fuck me over. Ice breath! I'm gonna let the dragon go out. Cause he, he almost has like 3k health, so I'm gonna assume he's just gonna like run out there and just like fuck a bunch of people over. So I, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just gonna assume he's gonna be like a giga god. Oh, we- oh no, oh, oh, that's bad. Neutral magic, oh, we don't have lightning. Oh, we don't have lightning magic for that turret. We're gonna take we're gonna take some damage, but oh well. What can you do? Uh, some of you may die, but that is a sacrifice I'm willing to to make. Dark dragon. 
Dark power level 10. Eighteen hundred double miss. Yo, I'm thinking this is actually kind of cracked. Yeah, Salamander, go help him. Go help him, Salamander. Good idea. Seven hundred. Calm down. That was un. That was an unnecessary amount of damage. If you could relax with the damage, sir. That was an actually fucked up amount of damage. Hit them with the Hellfire. Yeah, you, you like the water jug, don't you? Everybody loves the water jug. Stay hydrated. That javelin throw is fucked up. Stop attacking Salamander if you did nothing wrong. Salamander's a good boy. I got more than enough water. Look at that. Can you see that? Yep. 1 p.m. Keep chugging. Halfway through. Who's the heal? This is the healing party. Get some of my white drugs. What about you, Sad Aries? You got your water? You're staying hydrated? Hydration will fix most of your sleeping problems. See, you can't go to sleep because your body is craving substance. Going, sad Aries, I need water. You've been drinking soda and energy drinks for the past seven months. I require pure water, sad Aries, please. Ooh, Aquafina. Uh, excuse me. Where the fuck did you go? Oh, I saw more targets and said, I'm gonna go over here and fuck these guys up. Actually, that's not that's not a bad strategy. Look at that—we even killed somebody. Aquafina. Yeah, do that dark power attack again. That dark power attack was sick. Dark power. That is an ungodly amount of damage. Okay, we might have to call him back. Getting a little scared. Heal my dragons. Uh, 
Uh, I kind of, I would like it if they would go back up to the upper left. Yeah, because those guys are, that's like free experience points that I want. Oh, this is good. This is good. They'll attack Thunderhawk and then Thunderhawk's gonna fuck him up. Big damage. Ow. And he has 17 MP. I wasn't paying attention to how much MP his um his big attack costs. Because he could already be out of MP. Could be the problem. This is a level 20 attack. I'm really interested in knowing how much damage this will do once it finally hits somebody. Ah, uh, we can just send a, yeah, we can send our main, my, our main hero out. No, Salamander, go the other way. I want to I want to fuck up the dudes in the upper left. These dragons, man, they're uncontrollable. They just do whatever they want. Mutiny it is. Mutinous dragons disobeying orders. Doing whatever they want. Knock down the castle gates. Destroy them all. Okay, still too far away. Power dance! Ooh, did that increase our attack power? I think it did. Good RNG. Yeah, Ice Dragon, freeze that dude's balls off. Oh, that's actually good. He stopped at just the right, just the right spot. I'll have him attack first, because there's a really good chance that Salamander will fly in and do a shit ton of damage.
Yep, see? Right on, right on schedule. Flaming Pulse. For 1600. Yeah, okay, now now he wants to come and finish him off. Alright, okay. Thanks, Salamander. Yep. Salamander's there. Oh, it's safe? Okay, I'm coming this way. Oh, you're trying to get different item drops? Nah, I'm, I'll fuck that up for you. It's more fun this way. Salamander hates me, obviously. It's like, Salamander, let's go get him. Oh, no, I'm going to go this way. All right, Salamander, you stay over there. Oh, no, I think I'm going to come hang out now. Thanks, Salamander. Real cool. Real cool, Salamander. Uh, drug smash? Question mark? Yeah, let's, let's smash this dude with some drugs. Bite! Well, he fucked that guy up. Oh, I was hoping that was gonna be a kill. It was not a kill. Ooh, that was a guard. That's cool. I didn't know the light armor ones could do that, too. So the light armor ones, not only are they faster, that they, they also have the ability to do the guard, like the heavy armor guys. Munch. Okay, the body blow, that was fucked up. I think that was an inappropriate use of body blow right there. All right, I need to see what this Valitra Jr. looks like. I'm, I'm curious. What foul evil am I about to conjure? Ah, uh, failure, I guess. That still did 864 damage. Okay, I'll take it. I thought that was a failure animation. Nope. Okay, still not close enough to hit the auto turret. I like that even if you fail, you still get experience points. I like that about this game. So you, you're f feel free to try whatever you want. Even if it fails or doesn't go through, you still get plenty of experience points for doing it. And thankfully, it does seem like the Dragon AI is smart enough to not stand in front of the auto turrets. Because it would be frustrating if the Dragon AI kept putting itself in front of hazards. But it looks like that's not the case. Alright, we gotta do something about Lukia. Lukia's getting pretty close. Pretty close to having a bad time. If they kill it, that's just gonna do regular damage.
But 800 is not enough for ice to kill it. Never mind, it failed. I was gonna say, just don't do over 800 damage. Oh, uh, don't worry, it did not. Yeah, we, we might just have to go and do it this way. I would have preferred it if you used Inspire instead. Don't use fire element. Don't use fire. Don't use fire. Oh, he didn't even do anything. Okay. Wait, did that do like no damage? Oh, I did like 500. There goes Salamander again. Salamander says no, you will have an abundance of fire grass. This is non-negotiable. Whoever the weakest enemy is, I am going to target them. And I am going to make sure they all die and give you fire. You shall not have ice grass. You shall not have lightning grass. Start with healing. Suboptimal, but we'll take it. Ooh, how much damage? Plate mail drop. See, maybe Uni Uni magic gives us like a lot of item drops. Cause it seems like every time we've killed somebody using Uni Uni magic, we've always gotten a bunch of item drops from it.
big heal. Thank you, Salamander. Oh, slow down there, Salamander. Don't go too crazy. Oh, only six damage? Okay, never mind. Yeah, you, you, you good, Salamander. You good. Oh, that's not good. I'd like it if you did not do that. No, don't, don't focus fire. That's bullshit. Focus fire is a human tactic. AI is not allowed to use it. I'm officially mad. Okay, it is nice that you can use items without worrying about wasting a turn. That, that's another big benefit of this game. The items are just free use. Oh no, Malton, you're in you're in big trouble. Oh Malton, you're in big, big trouble. That was, uh, that was fucked up. I'm crying. Baby rage engaged. How's it going, Raven? How's it going, Raven? Baby rage incoming. What can I say? I really wanted to continue playing the game. At the end of the last stream, we got a bunch of new items that we could feed our dragons, and I was like, I can't wait. I want to keep playing. I want to see if we can get the holy or dark dragon today. Gotta keep going. Gotta keep going. White magic. Right, we got we got the, the black dragon. So Thunderhawk became a black dragon. Don't know how I feel about it right now. Cause it seems like all of his skills and stuff miss frequently, but when they hit, he's like the new DPS master. 
Yes, I just got... <laughs> I just got the Black Dragon. The Thunder High... When he hits something, it does a lot of damage, but he just misses too frequently. It's... It's like a coin flip. It's either he wipes out the entire enemy unit or the attack misses. So I'm thinking about how I'm feeling about. He also changed the summoning animation and summoned the magic as well. Gotta lower that timidness or one of those stats. Oh yeah, to transform it back. I found if you use Panacea, Panacea will revert it from the Uni Uni stat state. So I did I found that out. Because when transforming the other dragons, they were turning into like uni unis. And when I gave them panacea, it seems like one panacea is enough to revert them back into a regular form. Black magic. Okay, so when it when it hits a hundred doesn't mean it's good. Failure. I think it was the corruption stat. When the corruption stat hit a hundred, they turned into uni unis. Which is like, that's fucked up, man. I don't want any I don't want uni unis. Yeah, so if the task failed, um, that basically means it was a success, right? Uh-oh, Salamander ran out of MP as well. How are you guys looking? Healthy. 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 No, I... Why do they always do that? They always do that. Once once they're in an opportune space to deal massive damage, they're like, ah, we're gonna switch. We're gonna switch to melee now. I'm starting to think I should set the dragons to wait for the first half of engagement and then just save all of their MP for like the end game. Stop that right now. Stop healing. Stop targeting them. I hereby ban you from targeting my healers. Get him! Bite that dude's face off. Alright, Dark Dragon. Our Black Dragon, it is time to engage. Come. Oh, it was a success. Balloon Dragon, pop their hopes and dreams. 800. 800. 800 damage. 800 damage. Oh, use AoE. Don't. I. I know. I know. The Dark Dragon. Oh my God. I'm 
Thank you, Thunderhawk. That was great. You could have used an AoE, but instead, you did not. Perfect. <laughs> Des destroyed all the roads. All right. Okay, that's cool. Close enough to kill anybody. So you, you couldn't, um, you couldn't kill the healers. You had to uh, go for the boss. You know what, Salamander? I don't care. You can, uh, you can you just, you, you do you, Salamander. Uh oh, I forgot to heal. Oh, now you want to use refresh. And you refre you heal Salamander instead of our damage dealing party. These dragons, man. They're acting, they're acting sus. Okay, if if the Lance guys are going to focus on him instead, that that's fine. Yeah, attack this group instead. Don't don't kill my heavy knights. I need the heavy knights to get in there to do the damage. All right, overall, okay, that was okay. Good decision. Maybe Salamander will live this time? He has to dodge like one attack. Oh no, he still lives. Okay. But yeah, we're definitely gonna have to ask Salamander to, to wait to come back. You should really lightning that turret. Oh yeah, the turrets. Yeah, I know about using the lightning damage on them to destroy them. The game gave us that, um, <laughs> it actually told us that the first time we got hit. Yeah, give me, give me Thundergrass. Okay, or get two halberds instead.
Nice. Everybody leveled up. Yeah, we're gonna have to use healing. We're gonna have to use potions. Five hundred, one thousand. You shall die. Oh, nice. Never mind. Never lucky baby rage. I'm starting to think Inspire is only really used to destroy objects because it's not doing a lot of damage. Yeah, we'll, we'll stop using Inspire as an attack. Inspire is just for destroying objects. I want to see what a level 20 spell does. Okay, so it's about the same amount of damage as using one of the summon spells. Oh, is he going to kill them? Uni Uni Breath. High drug, dude, we're getting that good shit now. We got a high drug. Oh good, he, he killed himself. Died in the forest fire. Hey. <laughs> That's right shit. Shayla, wait, Shayla, how did, where did, where are you getting cake from? Died in the forest fire, Shayla's like, yep, piece of cake. Oh, you're approaching me. Yeah, we're going all in on the, on the uni uni gamble. Uh, thank you for reminding me, Black Dragon. Oh, damn, they all hit. He baked like a cake. Big true. See, that's like the that's the gamble with using a black dragon. Because with the black dragon, your attacks do a shit ton of damage. Yeah, we're we're gonna fuck with the black dragon a little bit. I'm gonna I'm gonna see how he turns out. Cause that that uni dust did look pretty cool. I am one of the Knights of Kana, and I'm in charge of Kana's reconstruction. I am Matalite, a palace armored soldier, and I hereby declare Campbell a free nation. Hear me, good people of Campbell. Your nation is once again in your hands. Huh? 
What's the matter, people of Camel? Mantelite, we really should go and greet the queen now. Quite right. To the castle, then. Tally-ho. Can I go Can I go back to the ship? I want to go back to the ship. Many things to do here? Cool. I'll keep watch here to see if the Empire returns. This is Rush's idea. He's become pretty reliable these days, too. Aw, oh, cut it out. I'm going to start getting all bashful. There's nobody here at all, much less anybody with the Empire. Throw up a save in case you feel like you missed something. Uh-oh. Save game position. Three. And four. All right, I'm just going to talk to everybody like three times now. <laughs> yeah, good timing with the ads, yeah. I'll keep Rush here. Okay, Rush says he's feeling embarrassed. Nobody. Okay, fuck you, Rush. Nobody answering the door. Nobody answering the door. Bottle of sweet, sweet honey. Bill, the princess doesn't seem to be feeling all that well right now. You should hurry and visit the queen. I'm doing okay. Velitra, the Divine Dragon, was very angry, though. Princess, I understand. I could feel it, too, just a little. Nobody. A clump of life grass. Damn, this kind of feels like an RPG Maker game. Like, no shade, just saying. Panacea. Good, I, I want more Panacea. Obtained a toxic mushroom. Mushrooms are good. We're going to be using a lot of mushrooms. Obtained an urchin grub. Oh, it's a good boy. Grr. What? Even if you are the sister of the late King Kana, I find your actions as the Queen of Campbell inexcusable. Metalite, you haven't changed at all, have you? Oh, if I ever changed like you have, then I'd be happy to be fed to the dragons. Calm down, Matalite. How am I supposed to hear this sort of nonsense and stay perfectly calm? Such a pathetic Queen of Campbell. Why, to think that she would be happy under the rule of the Empire. Oh, shit. Well, boldly pult indeed. But uh, let's try to get refocused and set that plan of ours into motion, shall we? Right, the plan. <clears throat> I'd like to leave this country behind immediately, but we can't go back now. Not like this. Have you calmed down then? Not quite. Alright, that looks like an important story event, so I'm gonna fuck off here. Did they really have to put the dog's asshole on the sprite? Was that necessary? I see you're all with the Liberation Army. The situation for us is, well, it's complicated. Ah. <sighs> What's going to happen to Campbell now? Who asked you to drive out the Empire? All right, you're welcome, Karen. Do you think the Grand Velos Empire will try to retake Campbell? Not going to happen. We'll have some peace of mind then. 
When we're friendly with them, the Imperial soldiers are good people too. Campbell may be free now, but that wasn't what the people here wanted. This might only summon the wrath of Sathar upon us all. The Queen entered the underground prison to protect the people of Campbell. She did this to tell the others not to resist Sathar. Anything on the thrones? Okay, you're getting in my way. Check the pillars. Make sure there's no items hiding. <laughs> their, their heads do look like hot dogs. Wow. Dude's got a forehead like a fucking hot dog, dude. A sad Aries coming out swinging. She's like, yo, man, those dudes looking like a Frankenfurter right now. They got that five head. No, oh, I thought we were soft locked. Oh, I, I was so scared. I was like, oh, shit. They're not going to turn around, are they? I was so worried. Bride sausage? Is that really what a bratwurst means? Bride sausage? That's crazy, Shayla. Alright, can I open this? I can. We're only alive today because we obeyed the Empire's orders. We all offer you a warm welcome to our cell. Don't get the wrong idea about the people of Campbell. We're not all so undisciplined. Hmm? Why won't you leave? Ah, well, the door's not locked, so I can leave whenever I'd like. The thing is, I disagree with the Queen, but I respect her. I don't want to upset her in any way, so I feel a bit conflicted, you know? Never mind. Oh, I thought you'd start pestering me with questions. Regardless of what the queen says, you shouldn't get angry, Bue. The door is unlocked. Go right ahead. You're Bue, part of Kana's War Dragon Squadron, aren't you? Okay, so those are completely new characters. You must be Bue. Do you plan to start another war? Right after Sathar put an end to it by uniting the whole world under the Empire? Sathar's dream was to unite the world as one, and that dream had become a reality. So why resist? We can all live our lives freely, just as long as we don't resist. Oh, there's a secret character. So that's what you're saying. There's a secret character here. All right, we're talking to everybody again, like immediately. I'm not saying that this is a true piece, but I... Oh, oh so now it's not here. Alti's gaslighting me. If you feel like you missed something, make sure to reload the save. I missed a secret character, by the way, but not here. No, I want to know what you intend to do about it. What can you do? The Empire might return to reclaim Campbell. Are you willing to fight to defend this land? You can't do it, can you? Like hell, I can't. I'm the main character. Do me this favor. Don't try to take our problems yourself. But auntie, that's enough. I have nothing more to say to any of you. Bu, I heard what she said. For the most part, please, Bu, leave me alone with her. Princess, what about the legend? I know, Sindak. That's enough. I have nothing more to say. All right, just, just checking, just checking. The door is unlocked. I know I went inside already. I'm truly convinced that what we've done was no mistake. 
Don't feel so damn, you. Oh, I know. What he needs at a time like this is a little diversion. Say, Mew, there's a place with some wine in town. If you want to have a drink, I'll be waiting for you there. Dude, <laughs> he walked backwards. Did you see that? Sindak fucking did a moonwalk out of here. Please let them be alone together. Just the two of them, huh? Alright, I'm going back in. That's enough! Any second lines? Okay. Well, I don't know, man. Compared to all the on-screen sprites, I feel like Yo-Yo sprite isn't, you know, doesn't stand out that much. I think... I, I just don't see the appeal of Princess Yo-Yo, man. I feel like, like, this is a hottie right here. This? Nah, that... El Goblino. Hmm? Why won't you? Oh, okay, we've already done this. Yeah, okay, got it. Mm -hmm. Yep, queen. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, but she's important for combat, being that she was a light knight. Yeah, I noticed if I stuck the light knight to the head, now my heavy armor squad just moves so much faster. Grr, 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 grr. I see you're with all the I see you're all with the Liberation Army. The situation for us as well. That's complicated. Okay. Uh let's see. Anyone else here? Alright, no, so they're all the same. Grr. Yeah, they should should have been bark bark. Missed opportunity. Missed opportunity. Oh, we can go inside the buildings now. Okay. <laughs> you can believe me. <laughs> Bew, my brother. Uh, this old guy says he can give me back a thousand times whatever I'm willing to give him. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you should trust this guy. Obtained a panacea. What should I do now? <sighs> oh shit. Oh damn. Invest. Don't let yourself be fooled. Fuck it, we diamond hand. If you say so, brother, then I'm sure to be just fine. I'll give him everything in my wallet. <laughs> you can't believe me. <laughs> yeah, maybe he's just a very joyful guy. Maybe he's like the Joker. He can't help but laugh. He has that laughing condition. Yeah, I'm gonna trust him. I'm gonna trust him. We go all in. All in. Diamond hand that shit. I've seen Emperor Sathar before, and he's really cool. General Papaleos is a really nice guy. He said to me, You'll be a strong man one day. Obtain something unmentionable. Obtain the complex book. Obtain a sweet memory. I could, couldn't obtain the book from the bookshelf. It had to be from the bar. Alright. That was a nice little treasure trove right there. This is where the generals and soldiers of the Gran Velos army stay. Even Emperor Sathar himself has stayed here. Is that why there's a sweet memory? People are used to seeing Empire soldiers around town. It's kind of weird being so used to seeing them here. 
Ho ho ho, you must be the war dragon squadron that broke through the general Zonbeld's army. Quite an admirable feat, despite your youth. Some guys suited up in armor came stomping into the room back there. I thought they were with the Grand Velos Empire, trying to get at us back for earlier. Trying to get back at us for earlier. Seems a little expensive, huh? Their stuff looks so tacky somehow. Guys, why are you standing on the bar? You're, you're making a mockery of our military, alright? Can you act with a little more decorum? Homemade cookies! Well, because... <laughs> nah. Can you guys behave yourself? No. It's time to sell some Metalite brand merchandise. I feel so shameless. Oh shit, you weren't kidding. Man, how do I know if it's good or not? I don't, I don't want to buy his junk if it's not good. Let's see, do I have any things that I can sell from our battle? Like the longsword, get rid of that. Battle axe, get rid of that. Burning axe, might keep it. Halbred, get rid of that. Uh, we'll keep this, because I think the game was hinting that we're going to get another Lancer, so we'll hold on to that a little bit. Get rid of all the plate mail. Oh, we might get another light armor unit pretty soon, so we'll get rid of all but one flame vest. Plate is ten. Oh, Matalite is 48, plate is 10. Oh, and even the knights can wear this too. But I wanted to use my money on feeding the dragons. I don't want to spend a bunch of money on new equipment. We did get some diamond armor. And I'll get one Matalite axe. I am the hero of Campbell's Liberation. I have my Mandalite signed weapons here. Come buy some too, Bew. I will work together with you indeed, Bew. Oh, sorry. Oh, you son of a bitch. Mandalite armor is 75 defense, 3 attack, 3 speed, 15 magic. You've convinced me. Some guy stood up in armor came stomping into the room back there. Started uh, doing this and that and the other thing. Oh, did we check this tree out? Can I get... No, I can't even get back to the tree. A letter is falling on the floor here. Let's read it. I'll go straight to the point. You may be the merchant on the battlefield, traveling from place to place, but if you'd only come back once in a while and stop by at the shop, I would love it. I want to see you. You can't drink any liquor here, though. I'm just lonely. I miss you. Can I equip? How do I equip it? Can I equip it at the shop? Alright, they, they have to improve the menuing. Alright, and Bahamut Lagoon 2, 
I want them to change that. Diamond Armor 67. God damn! Holy shit! My word! Oh, okay, I am now a firm believer in Mantelite armor. Can Lukia equip it? No. Now you must buy it for every night and heavy, every heavy night. Yeah, that is actually big true. That is actually giga true. All right, how much how much damage does the metalite axe do? Burning axe. Oh, okay, so the metalite axe, metalite axe, we don't really care about that. Yeah, we we, we don't need to buy the metalite axes, but the metalite armor needs the armor. So, Biki Baki, Truce, Gunzo. Barclay. So we need like four more. I feel so shameless. That's all right. Let let the shame overcome you. Life grass. I think that's the first time we've gotten life grass. And we'll sell that back. Oh, this hurts my soul. I really wanted to work on the dragons today. Okay, I can only equip the flame vest. Do I have anything new for you guys? No, oh, nothing new for you guys. Oh, what about the Lancers? What kind of armor do they equip? Okay, they wear the, the weaker armor. Don't gotta worry about those guys. Armor comes in three flavors, heavy, light, and robes. I, I thought I was worried Shayla was about to spell flavor with a U and I was, I was gonna get mad at her. I'll use the ice armor as another, as another source of ice magic for the dragons. So we'll hold on to that. Dairy, frozen yogurt, and sherbet. My three favorite kinds of armor. Alright, I'm gonna put a save here. I don't wanna do all that shopping again. So we came here, we read the note. Somebody has a big crush on our merchant guy. We took the letter. I'll give you a special deal on sweet wine, Bew. Oh, Bew, welcome to my home. Come on over. It's me, the merchant on the battlefield. You've always been a good customer, Bew. I've got some new items in stock, so I look forward to continuing to do business with you. Oh, wait, I took his letter. If we left the letter there, would he decide to stay because of whoever that girl was? 
And because we took the letter, now he's going to come with us. Because now he has no reason to stay. Wait, was taking the letter... Was that an important decision to make? Oh, it's just to make him look more human. Okay. I was thinking this was like a five head strut. <laughs> yeah, just, just to make him look like, you know, more of a person than just the man on the battlefield. That's right. He's my battlefield merchant. He's mine, damn it. Ain't nobody going to have him except me. Did I talk to you yet? Yeah, I did. There's nobody here at all, much less anybody with the Empire. I'll keep watch here to see if the Empire returns. This was Rush's idea. He's become pretty reliable these days. Yeah, whoever wrote this letter, sorry, but I'm probably just going to feed it to the dragons now. Get rid of the evidence. Oh, hello. You, you look new. Oh, no, I remember that. Yep, we read his already. Yep. Before we talk to Sindak, let's check everything. Would you happen to be Bu? I'm so happy to meet you. Some acquaintance of mine told me about what a great help you've been. Would you happen to be you? All right. Okay. Okay. Got it. Get, 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 get out of the way. Oh, there's a person sleeping here. Oh, hello. There's a dragon up there. Obtained an erotic book. Uh, five more minutes. No, uh, get up now. Uh, bro, there's a dragon up there. Dragon, you want to come down? Yeah, he's the other Lancer guy, isn't he? He looks like he has the Lancer helmet. Uh, thank you, Shayla. I mean, all I did was talk to a sleeping man. I don't know if that constitutes as cool in your book. Do you know of the War Dragon Squadron in Campbell? No, please tell me more. Well, I'm not surprised. You can go meet their commander if you'd like, on the second floor. Quite the pitiful sort, if you don't mind me saying. Not even the Empire soldiers would take him seriously. Shh. Three more minutes. Let him sleep. I'll smack him awake. I'll gently wake him. I'm going to smack him to assert dominance immediately. Yikes! Who's there? Why did you wake me up the same way my mom wakes me up? Urgh, you're with Kana's War Dragon Squadron. So that must mean my mom is with you. <laughs> oh, he's crying. Look at him. Oh, I'm in big trouble now. Oh, shit. Zora, you there. Why are we in a place like this? Oh, his mom really was with us. Oh, okay. That's funny. Yikes! Yikes! He, he impersonated you, JK. Beulah, this is my son. I left him in the country for a good reason. As for the reason, well, hey, get off here and explain to him yourself. Y yes, ma'am. I was thinking of putting together a War Dragon Squadron in Campbell, too. One that would rival Kana's. I left my mind behind. I left my mom behind and stayed in Campbell, hoping to do it all on my own. 
And did you do it? Did you form Campbell's War Dragon Squadron? I, um, uh, I just have the one dragon here. That's all pitiful. I had a feeling that it would turn out like that for you, though. It's a weird-looking dragon there, isn't it? Try calling it over here. No, I... Mm. Yikes. Come. I'm begging you, please actually come. Yeah, that's how my dragons act, too. Is that dragon mocking you? How pathetic. Could you handle this, Bew? Come. It's amazing! The dragon really did listen to what you said. I should expect no less from the commander of Kana's war dragons. <laughs> we found somebody more pathetic than Evangel. Dude is negative Evangel. Hmm, so there really are these sorts of dragons around, are there? What do you think, Bew? Would you let my son and the dragon ride aboard our ship? Of course. The more the merrier. Thanks, Bew. I'll have my son sweep the hallways. He can't do anything else, but maybe he'll be able to learn something, you know? I'll tell you all about how things operate on this island. Hey, you. Come with me. Mew. I was half expecting there to be something in the bed. I am the Dragon Whisperer. Give the dragon a name. Mooney Mooney. You know what? You know what? In, uh, in, in commemoration. Just an eldritch abomination of a dragon. Look at this, a fucking biblically accurate dragon over here. Oh, now I get it. You have to give the dragon a name first. Man, it never occurred to me. Um, uh, I... I have a job as a lancer, but I'm really good at cleaning up. I'm happy to be working with you. Wait a minute, he didn't have a name. He didn't actually have a name. He was just Zora's son. Dude doesn't even deserve a name. Yeah, this character, yeah, his name, it's, uh, Zorson. Now you know. Do you know the War Dragon Squadron? Yes. Oh, that's rare. You can go and meet the commander if you'd like on the second floor. Quite the pitiful sort. Alright, is that it? Uh, he might have moved around somewhere in town. Uh, no, he's not over there. We got an old lady. Yeah, he didn't give the dragon a name because he himself was never bothered to be named. Dude has that, that negative riz. Yeah, let's make sure he has equipment. Monyo, Flint, Rev, Syndak, Yo-Yo, Monyo, Melody. Wait, where is he? Zora, where's your son at? Do we have to wait until the next sortie? At any rate, we have extra equipment for him. Okay, we have to actually wait until after the sequence. All right. All right, Sindak, what, what, what do you want? Frickin' old man. Could you listen to what I have to say? I was thinking, when the divine dragons start going wild, inside of the princess, it makes me feel pain too. I'm the only one who understands what she's going through, so I want to console her. But I don't know how to console her, given the princess's age. I'm sorry, Bew. Yeah, we should talk about this later. I don't want to hear it. You've had enough of my prattling, haven't you? Alright, uh, I talked to Syndak. 
Uh, maybe now I can go back and talk to the princess and the dragon? Or not the dragon, but the queen. Ah, uh, queen, dragon, same thing, really. Just the two of them, huh? Well, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Uh, let's go talk to Rush again. There's nobody here at all. Let me know when you'd like to return to this island. Yes, let's board this island. I don't think we'll be coming back to Campbell again. Is there anything else here that you might want to see before you go? Yeah, let's put one more save. Alright, I'll be right back one second, and then we'll go on the xylem, and we'll, like, feed the dragons a bunch of shrooms, and give them erotic literature. Man, what kind, what kind of lesson is the game trying to teach us? Hmm, how do I max out all of the stats on my dragon? Oh, just give them shrooms, some erotic literature. Yep. That, that'll sort it out. That'll fix everything. The truth is that the relation will allow for the greatest growth within our... Oh, the relaxation. I was going to say the... The relationship as my dragon's drug dealer will um, improve his abilities. Tenfold. Understood. Commander Bew. Hmm. So all that remains is... What? Are you going back? I'm sorry. It looks like we came all the way to Campbell for nothing. Uh, excuse me, Joe Biden. What are you doing? Yo, yo, out of the way. I need to go help Sindak. My aunt said she's never heard the legend of the Divine Dragons. All right. Let's return to the Xylem then. Yo, yo, everybody. Please wait just a moment. There's something I must tell you. What might it be? We're in a bit of a hurry at the moment. If I don't tell you this now, I might never get another chance. First, about the legend of the divine dragoon, a dragons. I do know the legend. The one who knows the hearts of the divine dragons will open the door to a new age. And there is yet another phrase that would always accompany the legend. That phrase was as follows. The one with weakness in their heart will bring calamity from the heavens. The one who knows the hearts of the divine dragons will open the door to a new age. Tender-hearted princess, you know the legend. It is all up to you. Felitra, please, get out of me. Give me back my own self. There's no going back. Time once spent cannot ever be returned. Go ahead, fear this fact, agonize over it. I'm starting to think these divine dragons are kind of assholes. The one who knows the hearts of the divine dragons will open the door to a new age. What? That has to be the Princess Yo-Yo. One with weakness in their heart, calamity from the heavens. 
Why do you always pr Why do you always prattle on about the negative things in deck? I have a feeling I understand. I have a feeling I understand now. Sathar has claimed the whole world is his own, but he's heard of the legend before. He knows that even if he unites the whole world under his empire, that's all not all that there is to it. That's why he sought out the power of the princess. He wanted to use the power of Kana's royal family to learn what's in the hearts of the divine dragons. There's one thing I don't understand, though. I can't figure out why Sithar would just let the princess go. He must have been terrified of Princess Yo-Yo and the divine dragons. He's given up on whatever he was planning. Sithar never gives up on anything. He's not that sort of man. Stop it. I don't want to know about any of this. Take me back with you, Bu. I want to go back home, together, back to better times. Yo-Yo, you'll never be able to go back. If I could, I'd turn back the clock too. I'd go back to those strong and carefree days I had when I was a girl. But you must realize it's only just a dream. A dream that will never come true. Oh, shit. Yeah, so we got uh, when the the divine dragon first made contact with the uh, the princess. He told her that she was weak-hearted. So uh, it could be that Princess Yo-Yo is going to bring about the calamity. Also, that Valatros dragon guy is kind of an asshole. He's kind of a dick. He's kind of an asshole as far as dragon goes. Reminds me of that episode of Rick and Morty with the dragons. The slut dragons, the wizard. You slutty dragon! You slutty, slutty, slut dragon! Joy Nelbo, go along with these people here. Offer them all the strength you can muster. Ah, uh, perhaps I should say, if you'd be so kind, would you do them such a favor? Of course, if that is what Her Majesty desires. I wish you well, my queen. Thank you, Joy, Nelbo, and please deliver this message to Sindak. Tell him that if he's looking for one of the Divine Dragons, he should head to the water capital of Maharl. I couldn't bring myself to say it. I'm the one with weakness in my heart. I'm the one who told Sathar of the legend. I had no other choice. I did it to save the people of Campbell, but no, I don't think I could ever be forgiven for such a thing. The destruction of the kingdom of Kana, the death of their king, and Yo-Yo's suffering. Oh, what could I possibly do now? No, I definitely think the weakness of heart refers to the princess. She's... I'm not feeling it. Dragon aerial battle. Yeah, but I think that's just the queen saying it, because she has a guilty conscience. I still think Princess Yo-Yo is going to bring about some fucked up shit. You have nothing. Nothing at all. You've come here to steal Campbell right out from under me. One day you may try to stake a claim over the entire world as well. But still, you just don't have what it takes. Even if you know the legend of the Divine Dragons, what are you going to be able to do with it? The one who'll bring about a new age? It clearly isn't you. I do like the music in this game. I like this theme, like the sad kind of introspective one. This game does have like a good soundtrack. I wouldn't say like a great soundtrack, but it is pretty nice. It has some nice tunes. Wh where am I? What happened to me? You're in your room, Sathar. Do you not remember what happened to the Divine Dragon Awakened? Was I defeated by the power of the Divine Dragon? Princess Yo-Yo must have manipulated the Divine Dragon into doing that. Is she okay, I wonder? Princess Yo-Yo has returned to the Rebel Army. And that's not all. Campbell has already fallen. <laughs> Dude phased through his bedsheets. I've done a regrettable thing. Which way did the Rebel Army go, Papaleos? Were they heading to the Divine Dragons? 
Right now you need to focus on getting rested up. We, the generals of Grand Velos, will defend the Empire for now. One who can understand the hearts of the Divine Dragons will be able to open the door to a new age. What did Valtra, the Divine Dragon, say to Princess Yo-Yo? I am the one who will break through into the new age. Listen to me, Papa Leos. You must not allow the rebel army to go any further. It is only a matter of time before I learn what is in the hearts of the Divine Dragons. The legend of the Divine Dragons. The new era will be mine. on the floating warship Zion. Or we gonna do like a dragon versus dragon battle, because that'd be pretty cool. My hometown in Mahal is far away indeed, beyond the distant skies. Taicho, we're almost there. We'll free the land of Mahal from the Empire's control. We'll liberate them indeed. You know, Taicho, it's pretty fun watching over the skies. Some time has passed since then. What time is it? Oh shit. <gasps> this is gonna be an important decision. Oh fuck. Oh, we'll go in the middle two hours later. Hey, hey, Hornet, you're the guide around here. When are we gonna reach Maharo? There's something suspicious about the sky. Would you keep quiet? I'm feeling pretty cold here. Hey, Butte, it's time for you to take over and watch the skies. I'll be talking with Captain Sindak about the strategies we'll be using in Mahal. It's grown-up stuff, so don't interrupt us. You keep watch over there, Butte. You've never heard of rust skies over Mahal? <laughs> that sounds like a reference to something. <laughs> You've never heard of rough skies over Mahal? Bew, we need to keep watch over the skies, don't leave your position! Bew, we need to keep watch over the skies, don't leave your position! Oh, fuck you too, buddy. Indeed, I can tell you that we're all clear here. Some time has passed since then. What time is it now? Oh, one hour later. Come down, Bew. God damn it. You did great out there. Here, I brought you some refreshments. Obtained Yo-Yo's homemade cookies. Will you eat the cookies? Yeah, Yo-Yo. Yo-Yo, I'm not feeling it, Yo-Yo. Uh, the dragons are calling you weak-hearted. Um, I don't like how you were talking to that in general, Papaleos, dude, like getting some sussy vibes there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put you on the cold burner for now, you know, I'm, I'm a busy man, I got more important things here. Sorry about that. That's right, get, get out of here, get out of here. What time is it? Uh, one hour later. You've been working so... You've been working so hard, Mew. Here, I brought you... <laughs> I brought you some refreshments. <laughs> Obtain the cookies that Sindak put his heart into making. Will you eat them? Of fucking course I will. Thanks for everything, Sindak. I'm so happy. Bew. <laughs> ah! Bew. Your buns are so soft. <laughs> Disregard hose. Embrace Sindak. 
Some time has passed. What time is it? One hour later. <gasps> what? Oh, shit. Oh, it is going to be a dragon battle. Something's happening, Sir Metalite! Imperial dragons, huh? Should we sound the alarm? Yes! This is bad, very bad. We spared an aerial battalion of Imperial dragons up ahead of this island. We've got a support battalion heading over from Oharl. What do we do now? What do we do? It seems we'll get a chance to run a wild with our dragons right before we arrive in Marhal. The enemy dragons have vanished in the clouds. Imperial Dragon's Hall. Should we sound the alarm? Oh shit, there's my dragons. Can I buy shit? There's not much we can do here but cheer you on, so get out there and defend this island. Alright, can I buy shit? I would really like to buy shit. I had my heart set on buying shit. Can I hold on to you? <laughs> Cut it out. You know what, Sindak? If you want to give me a hug, you can give me a hug. I'm so happy. Oh, he's f Sindak, you crazy old codger. Do the Biden face. I'm not sure I can do the Biden face. I'll let you check out my items here. What exactly would you like? Buns will be warmed, definitely. Definitely get warmed buns. No, I want to buy the mushrooms. Are you cared to preparations? Then mount your dragons, everyone. Uh, weapons. Equipment. There you go, Zora's son, Nelbu, Joy, Munyo. Right. Wait, can we have a party of six? Because I have six dragons now. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we got six dragons. Right, I need to think about how I want to form my party. This can't be good. Imperial dragons are on their way here. Are you cared the preparations? Not your dragons, everyone. Zora's son is a lancer. We'll give him cockatus and a flame vest. Wizard. Oh, I shouldn't have sold those flame rope. Flame. Flame. The flame shit. Okay, what I think. What I think I'll do. Oh, I can't change my formation yet. We have to wait until after. Okay. Well, I can't buy all the dragon raising stuff since it's sealed off. So I think it'll be okay to go ahead and buy a fire rod and a, dra and a drag rod for the new priest and new wizard. Wow, that did jack shit. Alright, so Yo-Yo's good, Syndex good. Um, yeah, I, I think when we hit Sortie, it'll actually let us do what we want. Uh, hi there, buddy. Uh, I'll feed you a bunch of shit. Attacking with the rod causes them to cast their innate spell. Ooh, so the drug rod, if I attack, will do healing. So don't attack an enemy with the drug rod. Got it. Where's my erotic book? Ooh, if I use this, I don't have enough. I don't have enough of the intelligence books.
So he's all strong. Yeah, I don't wanna I don't wanna risk accidentally fucking up his stats. So we're gonna leave him just the way he is. He's just gonna have to be like that for now. Feed it, mount it, still getting ready. Ah uh, yeah, let's mount. Let's get out there. Say it isn't so beautiful. We're <laughs> over capacity. Get out of here, old man. Bew, please let me ride together with you. Princess Yo-Yo, please go right ahead. Say it isn't so, Bew. Alright, do I have to talk to the old man? Alright then, okay, take care of that dragon. Uh, I would love to, but you won't let me leave. Looks like the enemy is also heading to Maharl. Should we engage them? Let's engage. Oh shit. J jump out the window. Matalite's like, I'm ready! Okay, we got party one, two. Okay, so we do have a six party. Cool. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the Warlocks and the Dancers on one party. And then we'll have the Wizards all in a Wizard party. We'll have the Priests all in a Priest party. Uh, Joy is the new head, being that she is level 14. And then Barclay... Barclay is heavy, so he's probably going to be slower than others. So we're going to let we're let Zora's son lead that. So we'll let Zora's son because he's higher level. There, so we got a knight party, armor with a light armor, so they'll be able to move faster. Yeah, 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 yeah. This looks good. Yeah, yeah. I like this. And then uh, Zora's son, he can he can fuck around with Evangel. Side quest. I do want to do a side quest. I want to I want to collect some items real quick. And I want to see how the dragons work. Defeat the enemy's entire party. Let's start. Oh yeah, level up the priest party. That'd be a good idea too. Engaging combat mode. Wait, which one's the healing party? This, this is the healing party. How much damage is that going to do? 300. Uh oh. All right, twin headed, don't use fire. Don't use fire. Don't use fire. Don't use fire. Ice breath. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take ice breath. Yeah, keep back the main heroes. We'll put Salamander on wait, because if we put Salamander on go, Salamander will just kill everything by himself. Well, that's not what I want. I wanted feel. Clean yourself up.
Oh, okay, so if you use it on multiple people, more experience. Now that's respectable damage. Right, he has no field. The Lancers don't have a lance? Wait, no. Come. Wait, where's... Oh, because Evangel doesn't have any elemental properties, so they don't have any elemental lance attacks. Okay, I understand. I understand the situation now. Alright, so it was, it was our goof up. Failure. Oh, and they're really slow, too. Haha, <laughs> uni breath. Fuck up their entire party. Panacea, leather armor, drug, plate mail. I really should have used ice magic. I really should have. Dragon, uh, just just wait, just wait. Don't don't go too crazy. Lucia's party should stay back too. That's the one with all the heavy knights, right? Yeah, we'll keep the heavy knights back. Missed. Missed. Don't kill. Fuck. Oh, hello. What are those? Those look like unique enemies. Presenture. Oh, this was a secret enemy that we encountered, uh, like, on the first stream, I think. The wizards are... I feel like the wizards aren't doing enough damage. But that's probably just related to the dragon, right? We just need to improve the dragon. Priest. Definitely need to get worked on. Heavy armor, guys. You stay back. Zora's son. Are you guys kind of okay? So we could hit them with... I'm gonna try dancing. Frog all. Oh, that dealt damage to everybody? Like, on the map? Holy shit. Oh, is that gonna do damage to us, too? Oh, so it, it did, it did, uh, percentage-based damage. Okay, so that was basically like a gravity jump. <laughs> I've never seen this go off, dude. We're doing... We're doing all kinds of new and interesting things, aren't we? That's two that's two attacks you've never seen before. How much experience points are we gonna get from this? Ouch. This is effectively the strongest thing. Yeah, if it could be a little bit stronger in like the other direction.
Thank God this wasn't like Fog 10 or something. Could you imagine? All of that for 200 experience points. Yeah, now we got healing targets. Uh, cool combo, but it failed. I should have mapped a fast forward button. You still could. Yeah, may maybe sometime we'll do it. I'm only doing this because I really want to get some Thundergrass, and they're really low. Like, I really, really want to have Thundergrass. Don't use Hellfire. Okay, he still lived. Who has a different element? Dragon come. Oh, is she close enough to use Inspire? No, she can't get it. She could she wouldn't be able to reach him. Uh, yeah, you guys, you just, uh, you just sit back here and chill. Yeah, I guess the bad thing about that nuke is, um, all the enemies are standing on buildings. So it basically did nothing to them. Enemy phase. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. No, twin headed. No, <laughs> twin headed. That's all right. We got panacea out of that. Oh, they got dealt damage. So now their AI is activated. So now they're going to start moving. Let's see. Ah, oh, there's more enemies over here. Split the party, perhaps? Oh, this is going to be annoying. Oh, see, he's smart. That's a good dragon. So we just need to make sure that we heal the, the Lance party one time.
Oh shit, what are we, we're, we're dancing again. Secret attack two. Gain 100 experience. Oh, that guy's fucked. It's all right, I have a solution. So, what I think is happening is because the Black Dragon increases... I, I feel like the Black Dragon improves the results from the dancing. Because so far we haven't had a dance fail, and they've been getting that super Black Dragon boost. So I feel like the Black Dragon has something to do with why the dances are so fucking cracked. I'm gonna put the light armor on the Lancer team. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Because I want to get these guys to like go out and engage more. I don't want them to be like stuck back here. I want them to actually be able to go out and use their attacks. Yeah, let's do that. Make like a hit and run group. Because we have three lancers and a heavy armor. No, 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 no. It should be three lancers and a light armor. That's what we're going to do in the future. Uh, we're going to have Evangel go and see what he'll do. That was a good choice, actually. That's respectable damage. Go help Evangel. See, this is part of the light group. Twin headed is part of the mage group. Burning Robe, Super Vodka. Oh, never mind. That was actually pretty sweet. All right, cool. Was that fog? Hey, we got it two times. Wow. Give me one second. Uh, input configuration. Cancel. Uh, customize hotkeys. Speed plus. Oh. 
Where does that say you down? That's not what I clicked. There you go. I don't like this. Oh, that sounds horrible. And then speed down. Fast forward. Oh, maybe we want fast forward. All right, let me change this. Okay, let's, uh, nine. Uh, fast forward, we'll change that to down. There we go, fix it. Oh, he didn't, he, he must have, he must have tried and it failed. Why'd you go there? No. Go back, buddy. Don't hurt my dragon. Stop that. Unibreath. Oh, uh, yeah, you're all good. I'm afraid if if we let Twin Headed go, he's gonna kill this using fire, and that's gonna upset me. Yep, he's he's gonna attack and he He's, he's going to use fire, and it's going to upset me. I called it. Good job, Evangel. Oh, thank you for that. Ooh, this is a new one. MP damage level 2. Well, that would have been nice if we were, you know, buy some enemies. Dark power. 2,000! Gosh! That guy got insta-killed. 
That must do random amount of damage, because it did 2,000, 1,000, and 600. So that's probably just random damage. I was I was uh, hoping you wouldn't do that. All right, um, do a regular. Those are Final Fantasy three. Those are Final Fantasy six enemies. <laughs> he fucking he fucking squished him. Nimbus robe, Panacea SP. Now nah, just Wilk wasn't carrying a chest, that's all they did. They they changed the chest that it was holding. A chick. Dude's gonna get squished. Folded like a fucking chair. Yeah, I'm I'm keeping this black dragon. I'm not changing off of him. I'm sorry. I I, I like the gamble of it. I enjoy that he just randomly shits out massive damage for no reason. His ability to randomly shit out massive damage is very appeasing to my brain. Okay, let's try and get an earthquake kill. Four hundred and sixty-two. <laughs> uh, big armor. Uh, I'm not going to read it completely because I do not want to mispronounce. I do not want to have... No, no, it's big armor. That is big armor. We're playing it safe with that one, boys. I regret teaching Twin-Headed Fire. <laughs> twin -head I would prefer it if you used literally any other element other than fire. Oh fuck, Evangel's dead. Well, he wasn't really doing anything for us. Destruction. Inspire. Brigadine? Yeah, that make that makes more sense if you ask me. Oh shit, she can't move anywhere. Here, do like a I don't know. Give me like a healing dance. It's pretty late game stuff, yeah. Oh, he's surrounded by enemies. Success! Oh, do, do the big attack. I love that combo. You're getting squished. Oh, excuse me? Controller? 
Oh, my controller got unplugged. Uh oh, the last time this happened, we had to do a save state and we had to close and load the game again. Uh, save game position. Give me one second. Yeah, because the dragon was on the bridge. So when the dragon's on the bridge, they can fly, so they don't care about the water. Okay, now we're back. Are you close enough to kill? No, all, always off by one. You're killing me, twin-headed. You're killing me, man. That's it, I'm putting the light armor on the mage team. I want the mages to be out there front and center doing all the damage. He's not killing you, he's killing them. That's the problem. He's too effective at it. Oh yeah, yeah salamander guy. Oh, they're too, they're too cowardly. Sorry, twin-headed. You're being an asshole. <laughs> I saw him there, I was like, no, twin-headed. Twin-headed, calm down. That's good. Yeah, heal, heal Thunderhawk. Yeah, let's go Lancer Party. I believe in you. That was very rude, doing all that damage to me. That was fucked up. The Lancer party will make it there eventually. That didn't even kill? Did their dragon die? No, Twin Headed still alive. See, he's right there. Why did that do so little damage? We shall not fret. Oh, that was big. That was big damage.
He's a little balloon too. The the dragons in this universe are weird, dude. They're like Legend of Dragoon dragons. They're just in all kind of weird misshapen forms. Oh, I thought the Lancer party was about to die. Oh, they're out. They're out of MP. Gotta, gotta use that last magic gin. Nah, I'm not. Oh, wait. You can attack, right? Let me, let me attack. Let me attack myself. Damn it. And we're out of Earthquake MP. Still not dead? Oh, because they got they got healed up. Achiach. 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 Zero HP. <laughs> Get wrecked. Matalite armor is OP. Guy did no damage. There you go. Cause she has a she has a poison. She has a poison weapon. Level 8 failure. Oh boy. Truly the greatest failure known to man. How many people? Only one? Yeah, it's not worth it. Wizard bonk time. All right, wizards, let's see what you can do. Can you take out one guy with 30 HP? <laughs> 84, barely, barely did 84 damage. Ice brand, let's go. We win. Trying not to make too many detours, all right? Super vodka. Water affinity. Yeah, we'll keep we'll start keeping the other elemental weapons, because I need to use those to since we're not getting any ice grass and shit. Oh well, yeah, the battle axes, the long swords, we can get rid of those. I think Bu already has the Ice Brand. Because currently equipped two, and I only have two knights, they both have Ice Brand equipped. If 
Fire rod, we'll keep those. Plate mail, we'll get rid of those. Ice armor, that is new. Ooh. 123 and 44 speed. But like the magic and everything goes down too. I don't know if that's a big enough boost. Yeah, that's not that's not exactly enticing for me. I made a special exception and start selling. Mate signed good. Oh, the mushroom store. Oh, the bookstore. Okay, this is good. This is good. Okay, we can start. We can raise the um. We can start raising the dragons. We can do that right now. Big armor is Vegas armor. We'll sell, sell diamond armor. We'll sell the. I, I think, yeah, the, the bonus from the mate armor. Yeah. I'm just going to consider this a big. Big, big bonus. I need to see which of the mushrooms is the best. Hey, Evangel, how's it going, buddy? We'll start with you. You'll be our guinea pig. Vile Mushroom is... So that's Item Stat, Corruption, Timidness. And HP. Frilly Mushroom is... So that's Poison, Health, Intelligence, Corruption. Okay, there we go. So HP, Dex, Life, Loyalty. Frilly, HP, Mind, Poison, Loyalty, Fidelity. I'm guessing loyalty is supposed to be affection, and fidelity is supposed to be timidness. You can get your thunder from toxic shrooms. Okay, we're gonna buy toxic shrooms then. Oh, that is- okay, good. So we're gonna use toxic shrooms then. So toxic shrooms... No, we should really get- no, because we're gonna need- we need- the vile shrooms for molten. We're gonna need a new poison dragon since since Thunderhawk has changed into a black dragon. Ooh, just give vile to everybody so everybody now has a healing spell. Alright, we'll buy a bunch of vile and a bunch of toxic. We'll focus on that. Vile and toxic. Give you uh come get your uh the vial. So vial is life. Mm 
Here, you become a secondary healer. He's gonna become an uni uni. Oh, he became a black. <laughs> no, that's not what we want. His strength is high. Let's see. Panacea. Wow. Uh, he is, uh, he's definitely looking a little, um, He's looking a little strange there. Do I even have any leftover mundane weapons? I feel like I gave them all away. I did. Here, we'll come back to him. So we'll save mundane weapons for him. I wanna get uh, I wanna get the lightning mushrooms on this on this bad boy real quick. Took this, my child. That is a bit disconcerting. There you go, back to normal, just the way I like it. Earth Warrior. Let's see, how much ice is one cockatus worth? Quite a bit. There's no micro missiles in this game, alright? Chill out. Chill out. Oh, that would that was a big boost to his water. Oh man, his HP is like at 36 now. That's really good. Oh, to become a holy or a dark dragon, we definitely need to get his his life or his poison stat up. We might make him a dark dragon because we do need somebody to replace Thunderhawk's poison roll. Now, mind is mind intelligence or is mind wisdom? At any rate, here's some uh, here's some of that good stuff. At right, any rate, it increases both, so that's good. So it's just vitality. What can we use to increase vitality? That's heal magic. Let's give that to Evangel. Let's give Evangel the heal magic. Armor! So we need to start giving more armor away, too. Here, my child. Soft cookie. Oh, wow, that's a lot of cookies. How much is one cookie? Oh, the cookie didn't increase the, the life at all. Oh, 
poison, fire, dark magic. Here, you're gonna become a dark dragon. I don't like how that looks. That is a very horrible looking dragon. <laughs> Here, have some leather armor. Yeah, that boosted the vitality, all right. Now load his aggression more. No, I want him to be more aggressive. Probably, yeah, we're gonna have to keep regular, regular weapons to give him. Regular weapons should make him more aggressive. Bookstore. Alright, we might have to cool it with the erotic literature until we get more money. You there, mushroom salesman. I need your finest mushrooms. I want to make lightning his highest stat so he's more likely to use lightning. And then vile mushroom we'll use to increase somebody's life. Well, I'll probably use that on Evangel, so we have two healing dragons. Yeah, and then that'll do it. That'll do it for this run. Rush. Vile Mushroom is life. He's got four, th he has 4,000, wow. 4,000 health, what a god. Oh, so strength, dex, and vitality, we need to increase 25 per level. Toxic is thunder. All right, I like this. So now he should be more likely to use lightning and ice over fire, which is what I'm hoping. But all of his other stats look really good. His strength is in the 160s now. Hey, Salamander. Let's give you some cookies. Will this maximize your affection if I give you these cookies? It will. You didn't evolve. I thought having maximum affection might turn you into like a cool bro or something.
Sweet honey, sweet memory. Super vodka. We'll do fire magic. Yeah, I'm I'm keeping fire magic cooled off for a little bit. I am fucking with fire magic right now. All right, that was a lot of work. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready for the next missions. Time to strike. All right, what we're going to do since Twin Headed has so many different elements, we're going to put that with the van, we're going to put that with the Lancers. Evangel is now a secondary healer. So we'll stick Evangel with the actual healing party. Well, let's do this. Yeah, because Molten... Yeah, because Molten has the higher recovery. Well, not anymore. I forgot to think about this. Ah, but the intelligence is really high, and that might be a better benefit to the spellcasters. Yeah, I like this setup better. Yeah, this is good. Yeah, heavy Heavy Knight doesn't need doesn't need elements. But being able to have the absorption strike, that is really good. Yeah, we're gonna put Lukia with the Lancers. That's a good call. Sorry, Zora's son. Uh, you've been demoted from party leader. These guys are gonna be back to being just slow as shit, but that's all right. All right, here we go. Dragon on dragon. Take down Brandberg. Oh, hello. This looks like it's going to be very annoying. Gargoyle. Brand dung. Yeah, he's he's bird dung as far as I'm concerned. Right, maybe uh set up a defensive line. Yeah, set up a defensive line. Let them come to us and then we'll just like pick them off one at a time. <laughs> Blow up your own statue. See, you say that and now I'm concerned and feel like that might be a secret. Do damage to our own ship. It'll be amazing. Great, we, we good job. Good job, princess. Uni breath. Wait, how much damage was that? I wasn't paying attention. Couldn't have been too much. Get him! Hellfire level, fuck you, buddy. Oh yeah, 59, yeah, these guys aren't doing shit.
flame dust, ice dust, earth dust, thunder dust. Get ganged up on, loser. The dragons all decided, yeah, uh, fuck this gargoyle in particular. That's a lot of damage. That was no damage. <laughs> Dead. Oh, they're just gonna they're just gonna throw themselves into the slaughter, aren't they? You stand no chance against Evangel, my strongest warrior. Oh damn, they're picking on they're picking on Salamander. Right, Salamander, come back. Really, a level 32 ice spell? Still only radius one? Beat him. Beat him up. Punch him. Bite his ass. I should have had the Uni Uni go first. MP damage. Hey, my word. All right, we get it. You're extremely strong. 
You don't have to rub it in everybody's face. Look at them lining up perfectly for us. <laughs> that attack was in high definition, cause that shit was 4K. Dude didn't stand a goddamn chance. Let's see what Salamander's gonna do. All right, weird. Not not the most efficient usage of your uh, ability, Salamander. But oh, level twenty of white drug. This is going to be a big heal. Never mind, it was it was a normal heal. All right, you're not what I want. Oh wait, that's not a AOE move. That's the least amount of health. You're still at 2-4. You're at 3k. Dang, you guys are just beefy. Look at you just going off and doing your own thing. I was really counting on that. Are we gonna get a 4K attack again, back to back? Nah, just regular attack. He said, nah, I'm, I'm done being a menace to society. Look, look, everyone point and laugh at the loser. Zero damage. Bro can't even hit in 4k. Really, if I was the enemy, I would be like embarrassed at this point. Gargoyle leaves me to believe they might be immune to Earth. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a chance. Oh no, that fucked him up. Yeah, give me that Earth grass. Just use an earthquake in the sky, twin-headed. I believe in you.
Dude missed into immediate death. <laughs> Zero HP, didn't even need to defend. Matalite armor is crazy. Game's like, yeah, you're still in the beginning of the narrative. Um, here's the best armor in the game. Enjoy. Yeah, um, the armor doesn't get better. Uh, this, this is just the best armor. Uh, enjoy. Uh, have fun. So I'm be about five, ten, and then I'll set you to defend. Why, oh, hello there. You, uh, you messed up what I was planning on doing. I was trying to keep it alive. Excuse me. What does thou think you are doing? Magic. Three. Sixty-six. That's gonna push us into nine. So if it's just one target, it's better to have the mages go in and engage him directly. Because that did more damage than if we used it on the field. Yeah, j just line up for the ass beating. Let's see, I need him get him. I need him plinked like one more time. Or maybe we'll, we'll get an earth grass. We'll do we'll do that. Yeah. So you guys attack. Why are you always attacking her? She did nothing wrong. Stop being me. Oh, you coming to help? Like, don't worry, Master, I shall defend you. Oh, he's got a lot of health. He's what we would refer to as a big boy. Give me the power of dance. That is not the attack I wanted. <laughs> he fucked them up. Good job, Thunderhawk. Thunderhawk went from being the worst dragon to the best dragon. Well, what a god. What a giga chat.
Uh, regular attack. Drug smash. Drug smash. Be careful, twin headed. Hey, shy. <laughs> like, remember, he showed up just to say, Hey, guys, remember, I'm a failure. Secret attack. Oh, Sindak coming in clutch. Ice breath, that's fucked up. How much damage is this gonna do? Probably a shit ton, right? Let's, uh, you can go. Mendak, go do your thing. I should revive them. Huh? We have plenty of healing. Oh man! Oh, what a good dragon! Come back, Manuel. Here, take these drugs. These drugs should make everything better. A rod and a rapier. No earth grass though. Look at this loser dragon. So, such a generic, such a generic looking dragon. Is is this all that the Empire has? Is this, this loser? Hit him with the uni uni. Ooh, MP damage. That's good. I don't want it doing any special attacks. Then her heart beat that dude's ass. Uh, we'll have Bu kill it, since he has the ice sword. 
we'll get some ice elemental grass or something out of it. Or uh, Salamander can come and steal the kill. I mean, either way, that works. Ah! Flame Tongue. That's a new weapon. You gain 3,000 experience. Flame Tongue was worth it. Get these pesky flies out of here. Shoo. Go away. Oh, it's dark and foreboding. Maharal, the continent of miracles. I finally made it to Maharal. It looks like I'm really back indeed. I wonder if everyone's doing well here. Indeed, there are some things one can never forget. That day still gnaws at the corners of my mind. The day I fled from Maharal. <laughs> I, Listat, have brought down Maharal itself with my own two hands. I'm disappointed. What's stopping you, troops of Maharal? Where's your commanding officer, huh? Where's Taicho? <laughs> Commander, it'll only be a matter of hours before Maharal is destroyed. And Maharal will be destroyed if we don't do anything about it. Commander, we're awaiting your orders. Hmm. I will challenge Lastat to a duel. One on one. The rest of you can stay behind and cover for me. But that's absurd. You'll only get yourself killed, Commander. Please, just wait here, Commander. We'll launch a preemptive strike, and then you can use that opportunity to take down Lestat. You're out of line. Who's giving the orders here? I'm Taicho, the commander of the Maharal troops. But... I'm telling you, shut up. I'm a soldier. Protecting the people of Maharal is my priority here. I'll be fighting to defend them all. And even if my one life is lost in the process, the fight would still go on. It's a small price to pay. But still, I'm telling you, that's enough! Darling. Celine. I agree with the soldiers here. Even you are going along with them. I'm willing to give my life to protect Maharal. If I'm not willing to do that, who would be? You aren't strong enough to beat Listat in a one-on-one -on -one duel. Celine, how can you say that? Indeed. I've never been so insulted. Are you telling me there's anyone stronger than me here in Maharl? I'm the strongest warrior in Maharl. Indeed, if I cast aside my pride in that, I might as well be casting aside my life. Sleep. I'm sorry, my love. Maharal is bound to lose this war. But even after we do, there will come a day when we can destroy the Empire. I want to make sure you'll still be alive when that day comes. Right now, what Maharal needs? Maharal needs us all to stand together to defend it. Let's go. Right. Gunzo, please do whatever you can. I'll leave Taicho to you. Right. Let's go, Lestat. Flame guys. Counter spell. <laughs> that doesn't have any effect on me. What happened to Daicho? Where is Daicho, the famed knight of Maharo? <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Taichu, are you so afraid of me that you'd turn tail and run? 
Once the Knights of Maharal hear of this, they'll all be crushed. <laughs> You're wrong. That's not who he is. That's not kind of that's not the kind of man he is at all. <laughs> that's exactly the kind of man he is. <laughs> Die. Dude used the double try. I, I couldn't protect them. Not the city of Maharl, the place where I was born, not the palace of Maharl, not the soldiers I had under my charge, and not even my beloved wife. I couldn't protect any of them. Indeed, not even a single one. The sadness I feel for that, it never goes away. Can I ask you, Bew? Is there anyone that you love? Someone that you feel you need to protect? Let's see, obviously the game is trying to gaslight me into wanting to be like a yo-yo slave. But I'm not really feeling it. Nah, no, I'm gonna say Bew. Bew, he's a straight shooter. He focuses. He focuses on the on the battle ahead. Because, see, if I hit yes, my thought would be, like, one of those sexy mage ladies. But if I hit yes, the game's going to assume it's going to be yo-yo. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say no. I'm going to say no. My heart's out there for Sindak and the sexy mage ladies. You don't have to try and hide it from me. Indeed, I already know who it is. It's Princess Yo-Yo, isn't it? Yeah, we got all the all the priest and wizard ladies who are like, dude, they are like Team Bew. Like, yo-yo. Nah. Now those wizard ladies. The priest ladies? Whew. Gotta fan myself off. We're blessed indeed, Bew. There's nothing that can make you happier in life than having someone who you love. Treasure them. If you were ever to lose that person, it would be the most painful thing in the world. And if it does happen to you, Bew, you might wind up a pitiful excuse for a man, just like I did. Indeed. Alright, stop projecting your insecurities onto me, Taicho, okay? Ta Taicho, like, after the battle, he's, like, over there, he's, like, donating money to, like, Andrew Tate. He's like, Tate, how do I become a man? I need a woman? Oh, you're right, Andrew Tate. We managed to make it to Mahar. Let's hurry up and land then. Tychurch seems a little more fired up than usual, doesn't he? That doesn't surprise me at all. Taicho is known as the number one knight of Mahara before it got destroyed. And I'm the number one knight of Kama. I suppose we're similar in that respect. He must feel that some sting of regret that all of us feel. Oh, oh. Oh, right. When the Empire attacked Maharl, I heard they used some particularly dirty tricks. What should we do, Bew? If we don't fight dirty too, we'll be at a disadvantage. How can you say that, Zindak, my own teacher? It doesn't matter if our opponent fights dirty. We're going to fend them off with honor. That's what it means to be a knight. I'm going to mount my dragon. You wouldn't be happy to know I have any dirty tricks, would you, Bew? Uh, my dirty trick? Buffing the fuck out of my dragons. I think you're alpha enough. You control six dragons. <laughs> Your sword tech deals more than a party of wizards. That's alpha as fuck. I wonder if I if I had swapped for like ice dragon instead of salamander, would I have like ice sword text instead? Cause I was thinking like, what if? Cause obviously the game wants you to like be salamander, bro. Dude, I should just make twin headed my main dragon. That way I can have all the sword text. Earthquake blade. He is Salaman, bro. Yeah, you're right. We can't do that to Salaman, bro. Don't worry. We'll, like, make Salaman, bro, like a holy dragon or something, and then he'll have all the elements. And then we become we become a divine cross knight. 
All right, uh, I'm gonna go stretch my legs for like one second. I'll be right back. Not done yet. Just stretching my legs, taking a small little break. Might run to the store and get like a coffee or something. I don't know. So uh, we're gonna take a break real quick and uh, we'll be back shortly. <laughs> Come. <laughs> I'll do come <laughs> and Shayla's like ow <laughs> Shayla calm down what stop stop flirting with chat Shayla go back to being a robot you dirty fucking dragon ow
Okay, we're back. I think we can go on for like maybe another hour and a half before I have to get ready for my D&D &D game. We'll see what we can do. I was like, don't, don't, don't freeze. Don't crash. Alright, so, uh, should have gotten a bunch of money. We're about to make a landing, you know. That's why I came out to see you all. Want to buy anything? Yeah, but, like, not this garbage. I want to buy, like, actual good stuff. Complex book. Flame tongue, 4K, so it must be pretty good. I think it'd be safe to sell the fire rods for money. Oh, we got a Gaia gear. Cool. Oh, and I forgot to equip the Nimbus. I forgot to equip those robes. Because they might be really good. We should, we should hold on to the flame grass, because eventually we're going to want to level up the fire magic for all the other dragons as well. Commander Bu, I've thought of a strategy regarding Merhal. Would you like to hear it? I'll hear you out. All right, then. Let me pull up the map of Maharl first. This map covers the area of Maharl. Alright, I dig it. I see it. On this map, we can see that there's a dam located right here that has a fallen out of use. If we can gather the enemies at a point downstream from the dam, we can open the floodgates and the water from the dam will overwhelm the enemy. That's just like what happened in Final Fantasy Tactics. I like the way you think. How about it, Bu? Should we start the attack? All right. If we do a side quest, that will send us back and we can access the shroom, the shroom salesman again. Which I'd really like to do. I might as well do it. Like, why not? Defeat the enemy's entire party. Oh, a Chimera. Ah, I think he was the boss last time, too. I'm guessing we can make this a shortcut, but at the same time, it's like, do we really need to? So we can just cut through here. Like, we need to go get those three monsters anyways. Evangel's pretty tough, so I can I can trust him to go out and fight and not get himself too beat up. Oh, 
Oh, he just straight ate that bird. That bird didn't stand a goddamn chance. Get him with that ice bro. Oh, Earth Dust is 5 SP, that's why it's so much more expensive. That's not where I wanted you to go, but it's fine. Yeah, 4k health, lots of defenses. I trust him. I trust him to be a good dragon. Oh, we got the return life spell now. That's really good. That's very big. That's going to be a very useful spell to have. Heal all two. Oh, so there is a healing dance. That's good to know. Yeah, see, like, no damage. Just out of reach. It's always, always out of reach by one. What's that? Damage all. Wow, that sucked. Try not to wipe out my party, please. Get wrecked, Lou. Really. 
Let's see, are you gonna take out the gargoyle in one hit? Is that what you're gonna do? Just gonna beat his ass? Okay, yeah, he's like, oh, yeah, I'm gonna come over here. He already knew. He's like, oh, dad's going this way? Me too. Oh, they're not birds. I was gonna say. No, he can kill birds in one hit. I was about to say, how much damage is this about to do? Because I forgot that I did make Evangel a healer. Oh, that's what he's doing, huh? So that's the secret. Smart, good. Good ice dragon. There you go. Put put that guy six foot under. Yeah, use uh use the electric attack again. Or you can use ice breath. I suppose that's okay. Yeah, you know we do need more ice grass. Cause the mushrooms give us our electricity. So now we just need a source of ice.
dragon, go! Oh, he, did, he, he didn't go, he just stayed there. Interesting. Not want yeah you don't want that smoke attacking the black dragon mmm that didn't seem like that smart of a decision sorry buddy I'm selling the goods. I'll keep the long sword. Sell two of those. Just do eight for now. So we need, was it toxic and vile mushrooms? I should have copied and pasted that. Freely is for poison. Freely is for poison. So an order goes thunder, thunder, poison, life. Thunder, poison, life. Thunder, poison, life. gonna buff out first. There you go, buddy. <laughs> Salamander, you've uh, really let yourself go. Uh, you really, um, yeah. There you go, buddy. T take some panacea. You'll feel just like yourself in no time.
Wait, was toxic the lightning one? Yeah, cause it says poison, but it's not really poison. It's not poison at all. Yeah, toxic is thunder. So this will get us to 90. Hello there, uni bro. There you go, 100 light. His dexterity is almost maxed out, wisdom is maxed out. Strength is getting to 161. It's getting up there. Yeah, you you can't get any more disgusting than you already are. Really is poison. So we got poison and life. Poison, life. Poison, life. It's got the two little, two little, two little tiny eyeballs. You got two little cute little eyeballs. Yeah, not knock, knock that out, sir. You're scaring, you're scaring the other dragons. Is there anybody I need to make poison? Oh yeah, I think we we're saying we we're gonna make you a dark dragon. So we're gonna give you a bunch of the poison. Oh shit, look at that! Oh, glorious indeed! Oh, damn! Dude got some extra heads! Twin headed has become glorious! Oh, he is on the way to becoming a big boy! Mute M U T. Oh, that must be mutation. Mutation. All right, wisdom, intelligence. It can go above a hundred. Oh shit. Dexterity, vitality, strength. Might as well get fire up there. Yo, Runes, thank you so much for joining us. How you doing, buddy? Oh yeah, we need to focus on the vitality and the other stuff too. Oh, uh, hello, Evangel. Your strength, your strength is fine just the way it is. 
Just been a super long time working on finishing my CS 1.6 mods and Steam profile. Going official, is it? Here, again, crack down. Yeah, this game is pretty sick. For an SNES game that came out two years after the release of the PlayStation, this game is actually pretty cool. CS, so, yeah, so that's Counter-Strike, right? So Counter-Strike 1.6 mods. Ooh, like what kind of stuff? Uh, I've never played Counter-Strike, but I mean, Counter-Strike is such a big game. Even if you've never played it before, everybody knows Counter-Strike. Yeah, he's got zero vitality, and I think vitality is defense, so let's put some armor on him. I am worried about what that's doing to our aggression, though. Okay, so whenever we increase vitality, we need to offset that by using mundane weapons. Very interesting. So, before I explain it, Counter-Strike 1.6 has literally zero modding restrictions, other than the fact that making parts of the map transparent is bannable, and actual cheating is bannable. So other than that, anything goes. You're about to, like, drop the hottest mods of 2024. But, like, yeah, I I put in all of Jujutsu Kaisen and Counter-Strike. Oh, yeah, like, we, we got a domain expansion. Uh, we, put, we put it all in there. You can change player models entirely, reskin maps, custom crosshairs, make anything glow or reflective. I have player models whose bodies are grayscale with color-coded glowing heads by team. Okay, so that'd be easier to tell who's on whose team. That way you don't get tripped up on anything. That'd be a good way to go about it. So I can click the shiny heads easier so I can see it. That doesn't give you like a... Uh, unfair advantage does it because i kind of feel like being able to di differentiate between party members or team members is like an important skill to have so like you know you don't accidentally shoot somebody with friendly fire and stuff or is that something that other people also do or is that like a requested feature because i don't know the meta i don't know what like other people are talking about or what they want to do that's just the first thing that comes to my mind Flame vest, plate mail. I want to be careful. Uh, let's go start equipping some things. It's definitely an advantage because the player models are very hard to tell apart from afar. And there's no team indicators or sound differences at all. But everyone uses them, and it's loud. Alright, cool. Yeah, isn't that what a lot of modern games do now, too? Is that they have, like, their names up above everybody's heads. So you can see, like, oh, that guy's that guy's on my team. Oh, that guy, that guy, he's a, he's an asshole. Kill him. The hostage character, of the counter terrorist team, is. Just... <laughs> we have to we have to help Hatsune Miku. Oh, we got new weapons. I never saw that. I didn't see that. Death, enchant. Flame Tongue is big. Yeah, we're taking that. Earth Resistant. And then Nimbus. Nimbus is just a big buff. And I reskin the guns and maps to be super weird and give off the same vibe old Neo City websites people made would give off. That's cool. Are you able to like uh, put? Oh, you're probably not on the Discord. Because I was going to say, if you could link it somewhere where I could see it, that'd be pretty funny. That's cool. And like, do you put that? Is there like a marketplace somewhere where people can like download it? Because I play Total War Warhammer. 
in Total War Warhammer, they have a Steam Workshop page where everybody can see the mods and then they can like download it and stuff. Do they have the same thing going on for CS 1.6? Like, the terrorist side is themed off like metal fan websites from the early 2000s, while the counter-terrorist team is themed like those old semi cult askew websites you'd find where everything is reflective. In, like, cloudy skies and all heaven. Okay, so you do have your own game banana that is super active. Okay, I think I used game banana when I was doing mods for, like, what was it? Guilty Gear Strive, that's right. The CS 1.6 Game Banana site has been used for it regularly since like 2007. Wow, that's crazy. I was like still in school in 2007. So when you say like themed, it's just skins, right? It doesn't change the model. Like the metal fans, they're not running around shooting people with like guitars, right? <laughs> with a rental Magicka OST? <laughs> that's sick. Some guy's just like, I need this. He's like, I'm too tired of having, like, I can't have Spotify and the game up at the same time. I'm just gonna put the entire OST into the game directly. Okay, so you can change the models if you wanted to. Just can't, just don't feel like doing it at the moment. Ooh. There we go. That's, that's a better looking dragon. I think, yeah, this version looks cooler. I like this version better. A white molten. Yeah, maybe, maybe more defensive. I like using CS source models for the guns and retexturing, but it's a lot more effort editing like six, 10 textures instead of three to six. Yeah, the other one looked like he was like a blown up balloon or like a bullfrog. But this design, this design looks cooler. Oh, and see, even the model on the world map looks better too. See, we got, you're buffed up, you're buffed up, you're buffed up, you're buffed up. Yeah, I think after this next sortie, I'm going to have to save my money to buy new equipment. Because we do have new elemental weapons, and I think the elemental weapons are going to help us get grass faster than letting the dragons use their elemental attacks. But yeah, everybody should be very buffed up now. We should be ready to go. Have you heard of Metal Walker for the Game Boy? Can't say I have. Is that like some sort of Metal Gear Solid spinoff? It's... It's not so much a monster collector. You'll see in a moment that this is more like Final Fantasy Tactics. So this is a tactics RPG. If you've seen anything like the new um, Unicorn Overlord, it's like that, where instead of having one model as one character, on screen, one character represents a party of four, and then the dragons are their own thing. But like, so I have six parties that I will go out with and each party is linked to a dragon and the dragon while it's still alive gives that party special elemental and physical buffs i don't know how to explain it it would sound very wild think of it like really basic pokemon combat okay did this come out first or did pokemon come out first but instead of accuracy, you play cool and clash your monster with the others to check if the move hits. And this is on Game Boy. This is a Game Boy game. Alright, that sounds cool. I dig it. That sounds crazy. Both players choose a move that may alter how the hit works. So like if my ball hits your ball, instead of my ball moving, your ball gets reflected back. Oh, that'd be sick. Let's strike. 
So like here, you can see I have my different parties. So here's the knight party. So they have like medium speed, medium defense, but they hit like really, really hard. We have the heavy knights. Uh, these guys are super slow, but they have amazing defense, also amazing offense. Then a healing party full of priests. Wizard party. We got like a utility party. These guys do like random shit that does absurd damage. It's like a coin flip. Either the attack misses or you just obliterate the opponent. And then this is like our hit and run team. So they're able to move really quickly and they're able to hit from afar without engaging into combat. You can fuse walkers to get different typings and stats. There's no leveling mechanic. So every fight is based on fusing preparations and how well you can land hits. You can fuse and unfuse for free also. Both players' turns happen at the same time. You don't know where the enemy is going to go. Your walker's speed stat affects how fast you can push them at max too. So if it's like pool and turns happen at the same time, is it just like two guys moving around the pool table just trying to strike optimally before the other guy does? Or is it it's turn-based but things resolve at the same time? Oh damn, that's a lot of enemies. Heh <laughs> heh so you're the rebel army, are you? Lestat, this is where we met before. I've held a grudge against you ever since you bested me back then. And now I'm about to get you back for it. Take down Lestat. Oh, well here's a bridge. So we can let the enemies get on the bridge. And then we can use destruction magic and lightning magic to crumble it, and they should all fall to their deaths. We can also do that if we get up here and destroy the dam. This has more than just map destruction. You, The magic changes the map in so many interesting ways. Like there is one level where there is a castle with a moat and one narrow bridge. You can use your ice magic to freeze the water and cross it. And when the enemies try to come after you, you can use the fire to then melt your ice bridge. Lightning magic will destroy buildings. It will destroy physical infrastructure, which is important because the enemies can use the buildings to restore their health. And you can use it to destroy castle walls to walk through. Uh, you can set trees and forests on fire, and the fire will spread. And if the enemy stays there, the enemy will take a lot of damage. There is so much map manipulation in this game, it is absurd. And I don't even know if I found all of the different little things you can do. But, uh, way to speak, yes, it has map destruction. Like, the tech in this game for something that came out on the SNES is absolutely absurd. And it's amazing this game never came to the United States. We were playing on a fan translation patch. Yeah, like, they were doing- they were, like, using this as a prototype for what they would do in, like, the PlayStation. Because the PlayStation had been out for two years when this game came out. They were making SNES games on the level of PlayStation games. Shut up, Shayla. Jacko would not be disappointed. Shut your mouth. So, like, this guy has lightning magic, and he's very defensive. So I'm going to send him out to watch the bridge. And now his dragon's going to go out, and it's going to fuck shit up for me. So, yeah, this was a fan redemption. Uh, Ulti spent... 50k channel points to recommend this game and so far I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. Let's see who do I want to send out next? Um uh, the dancing can be damaging, so we're gonna have a go. Yeah, they should be safe here. I should mention something super weird about Metal Walker. It takes place in the universe Metal Ball. Metal Ball? 
But in like a post-apocalyptic one where some major universal event destroys society and turns it into Fallout New Vegas. I've never heard of Metaball either. Is Metaball just like a regular? Or did you mean Metabot? Wait, did you mean Metabot? Oh, full heal affects everybody. So that just wasted a turn. Amazing. Oh, if there were undead enemies, that would have done a lot of damage. Because if you meant Metabots, I know Metabots. But if you meant Metaball, I've never heard of Metaball either. Let's see. You're the fastest. You come with me. Dragon, come. Okay, so it's canon to Metabots. So, post-apocalyptic Metabots. Okay, because I know about Metabots, but I've never heard of this. Now, that sounds crazy to me. I gotta check this out. Metabots, post-apocalyptic alternative universe. That's crazy. Actually, I should be careful of what my dragons are doing, because I don't want the dragons to trigger these guys. Because if they get triggered, they're all going to come over. Dragon? Come. One of the most interesting combat systems on the Game Boy. It sounds like it. Pool based robot fusing. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta check this out sometime. Two hundred damage, that's nothing. Dragon Kong. Oh yeah, you can do that. Attack from range. Yeah, that's a good idea. Good job, Talman. I'm proud of you, buddy. Yeah, you can end your turn. I don't trust you to not do a dance that will fuck up my plan. There was the one I used. I don't know the name, because I had a Korean cartridge. Oh, okay, yeah, so it's probably all on the Korean alphabet. Wouldn't be able to read that. If it was Japanese, I'd be able to read a little bit. Did you get hurt? You did get hurt. Battle Axe. That was like a flying warship with arms and a torso, and its gimmick was that I had a passive that every time it hit a wall, you could choose the direction it <laughs> Yeah, can you hit the wall? All right, uh, go that way. Oh, you wanted to do a thing? No, fuck you, buddy. Sorry. It's pool, but with flying warships. Like, I'm just having a hard time imagining it. I need to see this for myself. I need to see it. What is this? this is another dam. It's a floodgate. But we want to destroy this one. Yeah, so the mage will be able to freeze the water so we can cross, and then the lancers will be able to do lightning damage. Oh, or we can just cross over the floodgate. That works too. It was super broken because it was the only non-speed focused walker that could chase things. I found two of them at an E-Starland and me and my elementary school friends would do Link battles. 
That sounds crazy. Like doing Game Boy Link battles with like a Korean game that neither of you understand. You're just like, yo, dude, my battleship's fucking you up. That's really cool. Oh, we turned off the floodgate. That's a thing you can do. That's cool. Oh, and then that lets us cross over here. Ooh, oh, that opens up some interesting implications. Yeah, get him. Fuck those guys up. Oh, dark power. This has a chance to kill all of them just outright. Got two of them. Figured out the stats in the inventory screen meant what things. Yeah, just cross-referencing. I'm surprised you didn't learn Korean from doing that. That would have been really cool. Yeah, I accidentally taught myself Korean. Alright, Dragon, you come back. Oh no, did they kill him? Oh, they did. You fuckers took out my dragon. I should have been paying more attention, to be honest. So now that she's basically a useless unit now. Yeah, so they just have their regular stuff now instead of having the dragon buffs. That was my bad for not paying attention. Who will I get more grenade grand launchers? Yeah, well, we can probably destroy that with a single hit. We also had a hunch that there was like a weight stat that influenced knockback, but wasn't true. Wasn't sure how true it was. With a ball-based game like pool, I think it would be a good idea to have a weight stat. I mean, you want to make sure you you could have a ball like you don't want your opponent to like push it away. Make it just super heavy. Like, yeah, sorry, you're not you're not getting past me. The enemies are hitting a lot harder now. Come on, get a move on. We need to go. Okay, not close enough to use a ja javelin. But our dragon should come and finish it off for me. Perfect. It's like, dragon, finish him. Universal armor piercing stat. Uh, yeah, I'm just, yeah, your armor, get, get rid of it. Your armor? Nah. It's it's paper now. Yeah, you guys stay there. Okay, I need you to get out of the way. Oh, we got poison dust now too? That's great.
Oh, there you go. Oh, okay. We had to actually stand on it. Help me! Uh, no. Blood. That didn't do shit. Because now the, the healer guys, the healer guys are just going to heal them all back up. Meta is pretty much high speed, high piercing, low weight walkers, and walkers with stupid passives and tanky stats. Or high damage ones with counter moves that kept them alive. There's, <laughs> there's counter attacks too. The more you keep like describing it, like the more radical this game sounds. Like, all right, that's the coolest shit ever. All right, I might have to actually trick them to come over here so I can do the, the bridge destruction strat. Because this did not play out a, not quite as I was hoping it would. Yeah, because see, they have a bunch of healers. These healing guys are just... Yeah, we might as well have just done nothing, basically. See, we'll set her up over here, at least. Yeah, there we go. Get him get him to come over here. Oh, okay. Th this is where the real plan comes into action. Summon dragon. Hurt him. Oh, that's such small damage because our dragon's dead. That's sad. Running out of fuel equal can't use passives and can't actually move. Just automatic attacks or contact. You couldn't even switch out things that were out of fuel. Is there a reason all the healers are lining up down there? So they can try to cross the bridge, and then I'm going to destroy the bridge. Uh, let's find out. They're either going to go across the bridge, or they're going to come up this way. So I'm kind of waiting to see what they're doing. So we're kind of at an interesting strategic point. White drug, so he's healing those guys. He's now on a bridge. We gotta keep waiting. It's fine. We have healers down. We have our healers. If we can take out all the massive... If we can take out the melee guys on the bridge, that will be gold. That'll be gold. Because they're with the healing dragons. So now that we've taken dra uh, damage, our healing dragons should start spamming heals on our guys. And then we have this person here who's just a healer. So I can move her here and her healing magic should hit everybody now. Man, my favorite spell design in gaming. Massive communal magic bombs that take multiple mages of effort. Actually, that's how this game functions. Because, like, each of these uh, mage parties that have, like, here, Joy, Zora, Diana, and Frederica, they're all priests. By themselves, you can only get 
a magical spell up to level 10. But when they're all in a party together, like this white drug, we just cast a level 32 spell by being together. So one priest can't cast level 32 spells, only level 10. But when they're all in a party together, all of their magic combines and it boosts the effect. And it's the same for the Black Mages as well. Absolutely, I recommend it. This game is great. It's... I'm surprised they never bothered to release this in the States. I think they made a mistake not doing that. Flame Gaze. Let's see, we're not going to do that yet. We're going to continue damaging them to, to bait the healers to get closer as well. Right. The trap is almost sprung. No, don't do that! Buddy, you're fucking my plan up. Dragon, wait. Dragon, come back. Dragon, this is this is not this is not no. Dragon bad. Okay. Whew. Did you guys take any damage? No, you guys are good. That's going to cost us another turn. I'm playing a little cautiously here because I don't want to mess up this trap. And our dragon buddy almost did exactly that. He's just too aggressive. Alright, now we spring the trap. <laughs> Goodbye, suckers. They're fucked. Alright, everybody just go in. Everybody go in. Fuck them up. Grimple, huh? Okay, be careful, Salamander. Don't go too ham. Let's do ice magic. Oh, does it have healing now, too? Oh, it does. Cool. It's only a level 1 refresh, but it's better than nothing. Let's see, which is our highest dust? Thunder dust. Ooh, 1,200. That's big. That was very good damage.
Ice Breath. <laughs> Nothing. N basically no damage. Es essentially, essentially no damage. Okay, I can get both of them. Get rid of these guys. These guys have to die. I've made my return. Welcome back, Alti. Flame pulse. Yeah, we might as well. Oh, now Salamander doesn't want to show up. Oh. You made burgers! Oh! I might do that too. I have some frozen patties, and my air fryer de thaws things perfectly. So I can de thaw the burger, wipe off the grease, throw in some french fries. Oh, baby. Yeah, we've been doing some absurd damage. We really buffed up the dragons. We did some giga, giga shit. All right, just uh, don't get yourself killed, all right? It kind of did nothing. We did this and it dealt like, you know, 500 damage and then the healers just healed it all off. The real trap is then the melee guys all got on the bridge, and then uh, Matalite here fucking killed, what was it, like five? He killed like five whole troops using one action. So like, this was the real trap. The dam didn't do goddamn anything, but this, this sealed the deal. All right, dragon, go. Dragon. Go. I was saying, this reminded me a lot of the scene in Final Fantasy Tactics where you also use the dam to drown a bunch of dudes. Yes, heal, heal Salamander. That's the most important one. I believe Thunder Dust deals 1200. Wait, because I also want to consider using Earth Dust. Now, let's see how much Earth Dust does now. That was bad. End them. Ha! <laughs> missed! Get wrecked, kid. No, don't, don't do this, Ice Dragon. Don't keep using Refresh. I want you to be offensive, not defensive. Enemy 
phase. Oh, you're you're approaching me. You are approaching me. Gonna vanish for around 30 minutes? All right, Williams, well, thank you for stopping by. Looking forward to seeing you again in 30 minutes. Exorcism? Is that an instant death spell? From the looks of it, yes. And from the looks of it, it failed. The only places that are open are gas stations and Taco Bell, and we have like no food at home right now, so I'm going to Taco Bell. Hell yeah. That's why Taco Bell exists. So you can just do that late night Taco Bell run. Oh, that explains why, because there's enemies that can absorb, and Ice Dragon is trying not to trigger that absorption. An all-night Chinese or noodle shop would do bank. Yeah, but they're like, you know, you can't have... You can't have buffet 24-7, it would be unsustainable. Unsustainable. Yes, they'd make lots of money, but just imagine all the all the food just going in and out every day. Well, at least the mages are dead. Which one of you is the weakest? You have 248. Okay. Drunk food. It's buffet during the day, and then at night when all the drunk people come in, it's no longer a buffet. It, it's the bait and switch. Got a guy again. My apartment is actually directly above a Chinese restaurant that's family owned and is hella good. I might just do that. Go down and get some gyoza, mapo tofu, nama beer, spicy chicken. Oh wait, but yeah, yeah, yeah. My my Chinese food is different from your guys' Chinese food. I have I have real Chinese. <laughs> I have authentic Chinese food. You guys have Americanized chi uh, Chinese food with orange chicken. Evangel said, yeah, I'm gonna kill this guy. Dude is trying his hardest. Oh, you got the real Chinese stuff as well? All right, cool, nice. Yeah, Evangel, blow at that dude's butthole. <laughs> Evangel still like at full health. This dude, this guy is fucked. And without redemption. All right, Listal, what's your deal? Dragon? Come. Dragon, come. Does he have any absorption? Hope not. One, one. Oh no, okay, no absorption, cool. 
Yeah, uh, fuck him up. <laughs> Level four. Bro, you used poison on a dragon that can't be poisoned. Um, actually a genius, maybe? Yeah, Ice Dragon, freeze that dude. Ice Dragon, ban him from life. Ha ha ha, level three. Oh, he turned me to stone! What an asshole. Well, that's not gonna help you. Oh no, I'm turned to stone. What, what, what can I do? Oh no. Oh no, oh, oh my god. Oh my god, oh, oh. okay, anyways. Oh, you, you, you dastardly devil, you. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, we got a joker over here. Oh, so he absorbs lightning. Okay. Ice magic level, fuck you. I wonder why he doesn't like, just move to stand in the castle. Like, I, I wonder if that castle's a trick, like you go to stand on the castle, and uh, it's actually poisoned. Something dumb, absurd like that. Refresh. Oh, thank you, buddy. You didn't have to do that. Oh, they're t they're tagging out. And if a boss with 750, 7,500 HP heals. I mean, it'll make the fight more interesting. He'll last longer, at least. Oh uh, yes, engage. Uh, engage with the uh, with the tomfoolery. So I think it's fire, ice, ice, and normal. Hey, look, an asshole. We haven't had one of those in a while. Holy shit. Uh, bam. Uh, yes. Uh, first time chatter. Uh, bam. Uh, yeah, this dude, uh, bam. Um, yeah, that guy, uh, fuck you. Oh, uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. Hellfire! <laughs> Not quite good enough. Yeah, um, uh, donate uh, 10,000 bits. I'll check it out. Oh, uh, yeah, send it to my uh, business email. Um, I'll have my lawyer look at it.
Yeah, uh, mods, um, send them to the Shadow Realm. Enemy lost. Everyone gained 4,000 experience points. The only way this game could get better is if they had like a, 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 a job promotion system. That's the only way. Selene. Back then I couldn't do anything to protect Maharl. I couldn't do anything to protect you. You must think of me as nothing but a fool, don't you? Indeed, that is what I am. Selene, today I... I was finally able to keep the promise that I made with you. I took Maharl back from the Empire. Back then. If only I had been stronger back then. Selene. I never would have had lost you. In the military, we never use the words, what if. But right now, I don't want to be just a military man. Selene, I was a disappointment indeed. But maybe one day, maybe you could find it in your heart to forgive me, Selene? The Rainbow Bridge? Dude, we're not. We're about to do some, uh, some Mario Kart. Chapter 10, The Rainbow Bridge. Maharl, the Continent of Miracles. It's not exactly clear when Maharl became known by that name. The seasons are always mild and there's a huge lake. The people who live there are almost too pure of heart. Out of all the lagoons in Aurelis, it's the most beautiful. It's a stunningly beautiful lagoon. Perhaps that's why people called it the Rainbow Bridge. It's a popular spot in Mahal for sightseeing, visited by young men and women alike. They say when you see a rainbow bridge there, your wish will come true. But nobody's ever actually claimed to have seen a rainbow there, not even in rumors. Damn, they need to slow down. That went too fast. Hey, is anybody here? Is there nobody around? If you can hear me, answer me. It's no good. Nobody's here. This place must have been attacked by the Empire, too. No way. Shit. Damn the Empire. What are we supposed to do now? Right, where's Taicho? I have a bad feeling about this. Call an old man's intuition. I'm gonna go look for Taicho, Bu. Go around and check up on things one more time. And by check up on things, he means, um... Check for secret items. I didn't expect for nobody to be here. Don't worry, that just means other valuables are unguarded. Oh, what was that? Don Juan. The Rebel Army? Lucia? Lucia, is that you? Don Juan, you're okay? Why? Why are you back here in Maharl? I thought to be able to forget about the memories we shared, but I never could. Can we leave the talking for later, Don Juan? Okay, please. Right now, we need all the help we can get. Lend us your strength so we can take down the Empire. That's not what this is about, Lucia. In the end, you couldn't forget about me. And you wanted another look at my face. Even if it meant just peeking in from the shadows. You kept agonizing over it until one day it finally hit you. You came here to Maharl. You came to see me, Don Juan, one more time. <laughs> Am I wrong? You might not be able to tell by the looks of me, but I can see what's in your heart. I can look right into it, just as if I was peering in from the other side of a stained glass window. You've got it all wrong, Don Juan. You've got to listen to what I'm saying. Lucia. <laughs> There's no need to be coy. You don't have to hide it anymore. I can't deny it, though. The truth is... The truth is exactly what made me fall for you in the first place. Come on, what are you talking about? That's not what this is about at all. Take a look at this. Maharo Lake. I've been looking out at this lake ever since then. That's right, Lucia. I always look out at this lake because whenever I do, it reminds me of your face. That I can say for sure. 
You haven't changed at all, even after all these years. That's something about you that I... And when the night falls, I approach the water's surface, which smiles like you do. Yes. The way you're smiling now. And I whisper there ever so softly, Lucia, only for you. Where are you now? What are you doing now? Is everything all right with you? Oh, I'm all right myself. Yes, that much is true. But deep within my heart, this lake and I are just as blue. I never could forget your smile. I thought I'd spend my days alone for all this while. You idiot! Whoa, seriously, why? Dude, all the Lancers in this game. Um, uh, you there, Traveler! I'm sorry about this, but, uh, would you help me? <laughs> Will you help Don Juan? Uh, should I help him? Leave him there to hang. I don't remember the DJ translation being this clean. Oh, when you say clean, what do you mean? Was his language more vulgar in the DJAP version? I'm Bu, I'm a good guy. I'll help him up. <coughs> uh, thank you, uh, you saved my miserable life. Could you at least tell me your name? You, you there, you're Bu. You're the commander of Kana's War Dragon Squadron, aren't you? I've been hearing rumors about you for the longest time. I'm Don Juan of Maharl. They call me the real class act with a heart so pure. It's not as though I'm trying to be a class act or anything. People just see me that way, apparently. I've heard word that our Taicho has joined your rebel army. This world is a topsy-turvy place. And that is why I, Don Juan, the real class act with a heart so pure, wish to join you. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Is that so? You really need me that badly, do you? Then I'm happy to assist you. Don Juan! Oh, look, we have, we have here Jean, the light armored soldier. How are you doing? You're looking nice today. I don't have time to deal with her pickup lines right now. There's a more important matter to address. Taito has entered the Palace of Splendor, where Lestat is now. Lestat? A vampire? <laughs> With me on your side, you'll have nothing to fear from the Empire. That I can say for sure. What are you saying? I told you I don't have time for this. Right now, Matalite of Kana is doing what he can to defuse the matter, but we need to hurry there as well. You can't be serious, Jean. You just couldn't hold back your desire to get a glimpse of my face again, could you? <laughs> I'm right, aren't I? Why, you might ask? It's because I can see into your heart. Yes. I can look right into it, just as if I was peering in from the other side of a stained glass window. You're so annoying! I'm sick of hearing that same line from you again and again. Oh, <laughs> seriously? Why? We're going on ahead. We'll hold the position there. Let's meet up once you're through with your preparations. Um, Commander Bu, could you uh, uh, help me out again? Will you save Don Juan? The real cat class act with a heart so pure. I don't wanna. Whoa, seriously, don't abandon me. Commander Bu, could you help me? Yeah, we'll we'll help we'll help you out. Jane's a cutie, isn't she? She's so shy. It's tough having a woman hitting on you all the time though, isn't it? Oh, I've heard the rumors about the War Dragons of Kana. My, my. They're quite impressive, aren't they? Oh no, we're stuck with this music, aren't we? Obtained six bunches of earth grass. That's nice. Oh god, somebody make the music stop.
Obtained a main Gaulsh dagger. Obtained a Nimbus rope. But now you must suffer. Suffer the music of Don Juan. The man with a heart so pure. Is that it? Is that really it? Just these three islands? Nothing else? All right, hey there, buddy. Thanks for dropping by. Thunder Earth Complex, sweet, soft, unmentionable. We'll keep all that. Super vodka. Burning axe. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. It has to be. It's worth so much. Yard in this robe. We'll keep that. Uh, spark blade, thunder affinity. Uh, we don't need to worry about that because uh, we have a, we have a cheap way of buying thunder enhancements. Poison affinity. Well, we got the main goosh, so we probably don't need that. Death enhancement, though. So you gotta hang on to some of those weapons. Yeah, I have noticed that. And these are becoming prohibitively expensive. No, I feel like I don't actually want to buy any of that. The only thing might just be Cassandra, but that's it. Ooh, we got another light armor. Okay, that's cool. Ooh, baby! Right, we'll let her use the Cassandra. And then Lucia gets the mango. Actually, let's go to the Black Dragon. No, because he does absurd damage for no reason anyways. We don't need to worry about improving his attack stat. But Salamander, he does frequently come in... Well, then again, he has 200, so don't have to worry about him. But Evangel, Evangel does like to attack. So we will give him... Some methods for attacking. Take this, my child. Uh, he's got no vitality, so we need to give him some defensive armor. Here you go, buddy. Enjoy. What happens if I feed you the guy? 
Oh, Earth, Earth levels up all three. Here you go, my child. Oh, we're getting close. What a what a glorious dragon. Where's that super vodka? Nah, cause the super vodka that probably that probably gives a whole shit ton. Oh, that that didn't increase fire at all. Take this, my child. Alright, and we're leveling up poison, so we need to get his poison. We need 50 more poison. We can get that from... It was the, it was the frilly mushroom, right? Let's find out. Here's a frilly mushroom. Yeah, it was the frilly mushroom. We should start leveling up your elements as well. So, giving you th this will probably increase fire and vitality by a lot. I don't like how you look. You've really let yourself go, buddy. You've had a bit too much to eat. I'm putting that nice. Sweet wine, I'll also do fire magic. Now your aggression's all the way down. Yeah, we'll hold on to the rest. He looks like a goddamn gremlin is what he looks like. Look at this gremlin ass dude. It's freezing. I think I might be catching a cold. Should we attack now? Ah, uh, I would love to, but yeah, I really need to go prepare for my D&D game now. So that is an unfortunate. I'll put a slave slot here. Yo. All right, I don't know if I'm going to have time to stream tomorrow. If I do, we are absolutely going to stream tomorrow. But there's a good chance, most likely, that we will probably not stream tomorrow. But, hypothetically, if we did stream tomorrow, we'll be playing this. Because, uh, yeah, I'm kind of... kind of absorbed, one might say. But yeah, Jay Fodic is on, and uh, Jay's really cool, and he plays a lot of cool retro and indie games as well. And I haven't had the chance to raid him in a while. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna raid Jay Fodic. Right now he's doing his Sukiban Deka, which is like a an old Japanese television show. He has a segment where like when he takes a break, they watch this cool TV show together. So uh, we're gonna go in and we're gonna watch some of that with him. Let's go ahead. Uh, raid him. Oh, you're going to suggest a friend? All right. Who? Oh, we can... It's not too late. It's not too late, Alti. Who's this... Who's this friend? Who's this person? If there's... If there's another per... If there's somebody that the viewers want us to raid. I am absolutely fine with raiding them. Matt. Math the Geek. Playing Tomb Raider. T-H-T-H. Oh, yeah, here we go. Matt. Matt. 
the geek. Front mission three. Giant robots. Giant robots is always good. All right, we'll do that then. Yeah, if the viewers, you guys ever have somebody you want me to raid, absolutely. I'll, I'll spread the love out. 